Yeah. I know what you're thinking. Here go another damn podcast. But you got me to up, partner. This here gonna be a little different, man. Check me out, though. Let me spit some of this pimp shit. You did. She say, where we going, baby? I say, we going to the moon. But I'm the biggest star in this movie. And you'll be coming soon. Don't try that pimp shit. Bitch, it is. Just listen when I spit. I be your Santa Claus. Ho, ho, ho. You can have everything on your Christmas list. You ain't gotta say a word. I do all the talking. But you the big step back. You do all the walking. Hold on. Stop the beat. What the hell they got to do with the podcast? You steady talking like you a damn pimp. You a comedian. You ain't no damn pimp. Man, why you hating, mama? Because you're messing up my image. Man, what you want me to do? You want me to change it up? Yeah. Don't nobody want to hear that shit. All right, mom. I'm, I'm going to change it up. Put some stuff in their mouth. What's up with it, baby? What's up with it? Yeah, it's time to get it started. Hey. Got your name Feng Shui in the building. Shui. And you know Ma. You know Ma. Okay. Yeah, we both from the country, the country. but we living in the city. Yeah. yeah, my mama might be a little old, but she's still looking pretty. Come on you now. You got your right. folks in the city. You know what I'm talking about? And you know we stay clean. Press the If you see me on 5150, then it's two two line. Line. No, I'm rapping ass. Yeah, we use different words, country but we saying the same but thing. Yeah, we independent now. Don't need nobody. But we still mainstream. Yeah. There you go. That's better. Let's start the damn show. Hey, hey, hey. What's happening, baby? What it do, man? This is the Mainstream Country Folk in the City Podcast. Episode 115 in this whole year dig. And I am your host. You know Marcus. And on the side of me, I got a co-host. Your name Feng Sway. On the side of her, I got another co-host. That nigga free game. What's up with it, baby? <laughs> and on the side of me, I got another co-host. Comedian Faith, back by popular demand. Yeah, <laughs> I say now uh, the wait is over and the wait is gone. <laughs> <laughs> Cause she done slipped down on us, y'all. She done slipped. That was my way, <laughs> Chicago stressed me out. <laughs> yeah, Chad man. Chad said I got BBL legs. Man. <laughs> <laughs> legs don't match that ass no more. Yeah, man. Damn, we gotta, we gotta get her in the kitchen. I'm, I'm gonna keep her in the kitchen, y'all. I'm gonna get her back right, man. She done, she done lost too much weight. I'm gonna have to get in there, get her some fish and some, you know what I'm saying? Some cornbread, yeah, yeah, them, yeah. Them, them, them potatoes. Yeah, but hey, boy, when I get through with her, they're gonna say, "Ooh, she might be from Texas." Yeah. <laughs> That's some Texas Beyonce ass look right good. there. <laughs> Got some Texas ass. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, if you in the chat, man, y'all already know what to do, man. Comment. You know what I'm talking about? Like, hit that like button, man. Uh, subscribe if you ain't subscribed. You know what I'm talking about? Share this thing. If you ain't, you know what I'm saying, if you fool with me, you know what I'm saying. And uh, if you want to show some love, man, super chat, likes, uh, what else? no, super chat, uh, cash out, uh, Venmo, all that shit, whatever you want to send, we'll take it. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all already know, supporting the show, we we, we, we appreciate every bit of that. Uh, we ain't got a chat up, baby? Oh, yeah. Yeah, see, anybody getting up, sitting up, uh, Abe over there drunk driving, goddamn it. Yeah, we don't yeah. know what's going on yeah, in the world. Man, getting, her done, Abe, getting her done. Abe yeah, getting her done. You already know. Quit playing. Don't mess with Abe now. We don't yeah. play by Abe. We ain't seen a word. I ain't seen no word yet. I know the folks on there talking shit. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? They said she quit the Crips. <laughs> <laughs> I knew they was going to talk about me. I was all blue last time. I had to represent for real. Y'all said I was two. I was seven four. It's two four over here. Ooh, let them know. Just like to the world blow. Yeah. Oh. I couldn't wear them braids no more either because y'all was roasting me. You said I look like Felicia. I'm trying to be <laughs> today. Yeah, you see, hey, you see her, you see her. She came back sharks. She came out. She put the oh, she, she put the it back up now, Faith. There were great black sharks saying that you think it back up now, Faith. Yeah, yeah, get it back together. <laughs> get it back up. Right? I can't hey. be on the yam cam today. Yeah, I only got, got potatoes. She on the damn cam. Damn, damn. damn. <laughs> she done lost the yam. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what was that, uh, Martin? Damn, damn, damn. damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Yeah>. Gina. <laughs> damn, Gina. Yeah, man. Oh, um, yeah. So, oh, uh, man. Um, yeah, y'all. Already, like I said, y'all want to show some love. Show some love, man. That's all the info. You know what I'm talking about? You need, man. Yes, indeed. I, no, there's yeah. some more goddamn info. Now, uh, 
Now, <laughs> Auntie Faith. They said you look very classy tonight, Faith. Okay, that's you. Well, what you. class okay. you been to? God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, uh, uh, you know, we we gonna start off, man. See what's happening, man. Uh, 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 with the with the squad, man. You know, we gotta check the temperature of the room. Make sure everybody's smooth, man. We are gonna start with Mama, Mama. What the last week was for you, baby? Bird, what you do? Oh, last week was good. You know, I was out here hustling, getting. Oh, Mama sharing the camera with me. Yeah. Getting this money, you already know. And uh, you know, helping big man out a little bit. You know, I have to pray for his little mind because his mind just <laughs> be all over the place. Bless his heart. Well, what you talking? About? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with my mind? I don't even he talking about what happened. <laughs> yeah, what happened? He said, little mind. You just in that room with your mind going nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh yeah. But and um. He had a show on Monday night. Uh, it was good. Yeah, I, I enjoyed that. It was, it was a good show. Like the little magic trick guy, whatever he was doing up there. The white see. boy? My boy was no, there? No. Oh. Uh-uh. But yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was, it was, it was good. I, I, I enjoyed my week. Okay. I enjoyed my one coming more. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, one. Yeah, she, 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 she flying out tomorrow. Oh, okay. Yeah, she gonna get on uh, go, go on to her little book. Well, I'm glad I came today. Then I'm yeah. glad I came today. So yeah, because you, yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. They was calling me your little twin last time. <laughs> <laughs> you probably got them big ass eyes. Shut your ass up. <laughs> 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 Tell me what you got going on, man. What's up, man? What the, what the last week was, man? Man, goddamn it, grinding like bad breaks, man. We hustling, goddamn, trying to survive these LA streets. Uh, booking these background joints and trying to stay active in any folks' face and 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 not lose none of my you know my, my position and shit like you know we out here getting on and shit and it's important not to focus on work so much that you stop investing in what you're here for. Correct, yeah. correct. You know, so you, you know, can trying lose to focus quick. trying to find that balance. You yeah. know, yeah. up at five in the morning every day, going right. to sleep at twelve. Nigga, that shit a motherfucker. Mm. <laughs> them look, I, mm. Nigga, I went through that in the beginning, nigga. Boy, them, so, look, yeah. them little four, five hours ain't hitting on shit. No, I, I know. You know how, <laughs> nigga, I'm talking about you. I was rolling 12 hours, nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To, to, to God, I flipped over the car. Like, nigga, you doing too much, nigga. Whoa. Move. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you see, go focus on comedy, nigga. You tripping, boy. Uh, Man. Nigga, I hit a parked car, nigga. I fell Whoa. asleep. Boy, hell yeah, I fell asleep. What have you been doing about it? I had been up about 12, 13, 14 hours rolling, nigga. I'm like, man, I'm forget. This is the last ride. I'm like, you I'm just said calling mom. I'm doing one more, one more. One more. I said, boy, you've been out there long enough. Come on, huh? One more, one more, one more. One more, one more. Gotta get my bonus. That's but what I, I, to I, I think you don't have no real concept of time until you like committed to something, right? Because it seemed like, nigga, an hour. Like you know what I'm saying. I come back from the gym and be like, all right, it's six. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying. I'm finna be. On the road by seven, seven thirty, <laughs> nigga, be like nine o'clock. I be like, God damn, what the, <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck happened? When you on your time, yeah, man, it's I, different. <laughs> I blinked twice, God damn it, and, and two hours flew by. But yep. yeah, so it's, you know, we we staying at it, we staying active. They say you like a used Hot Wheels salesman. Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck y'all, man. Hey, hey, somebody, somebody said something about the the, the, uh, the opening was gay. The, the, the skit uh, from earlier. Oh, um, they were talking about. They said um, they like the skits. It was hilarious. Need to put uh, faith in it, man. Um, faith is you finna be around. How long you finna be around, faith? I'm finna be around till uh, the thirteenth. To the thirteenth, yeah, faith gonna be around for the next couple weeks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get faith in uh, in one of these uh, sketches. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm gonna go get her together, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna see what your acting chops look like, faith. Oh, I've been acting since since been acting. You've been acting since acting. <laughs> tough acting, tough acting, acting. acting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But that good. yeah, okay. So that's what your week was on. He didn't act. Oh no, he ain't got, got it. Yeah. He didn't act. He just told her what she was doing. Right, right. You didn't say you're gonna bitch you. You didn't say, right. do you mind being it? Do you want to be in it? Right. Let's go. Man, we already wait, talked wait, about that. He Once said, he said uh, he he. What'd you say about accountability? If you need a partner, I'm an accountant. Yeah, 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 yeah man. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, once we locked lie. in, ain't no switching up. Yeah. When it came home, had to pick her up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Good. Um, we locked in like two pit bulls, baby. Ain't that right? 
Yeah. 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 <laughs> that was an awkward ass. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. They Very. watching. They watching. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I fuck with you. I fuck. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, Faith, what your what your league week was like, man? Talk to us. Let us know. You can tell us about. You ain't got to do the week. You can do the whole time. You been gone. What you? What's happening? Tell, talk to us, man. Just stop eating. Right. That. Man. <laughs> Listen. Chicago stressed me out. Okay. <laughs> I was so stressed out. This past week just been really getting my focus back. You know because. Yeah. yeah. I do really appreciate Marcus because you know he was checking on me when I was in Chicago and he was like putting the pressure on me to come back. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. um. When I was at home, I just felt like so mentally and emotionally drained. Yeah. I couldn't even really get out of bed for like a week, you know. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, <clears throat> I ain't want to come, but Marcus was calling like, "Come on!" And and two, I really appreciate y'all for like putting so much pressure on me too. Like, keep asking when she coming back, and you know, put her on because <clears throat> I just I just feel be I just feel like giving up. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I just feel like. Like, I've been doing this for a long time, but then another voice, like, you ain't did shit to give up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you ain't yeah. yet. <laughs> you quitting on? <laughs> How you gonna quit on nothing? Yeah, You gonna stop stopping? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna stop stopping. <laughs> and, um, and I was just like, man, like, like, I wish I had some cool talent, like, Ballroom dancing or something. You know what I'm saying? You I went like all the way left be... field. Nigga. You, you jumped know, over all of the, right, the feasible right? shit. Right? Like ballroom <laughs> dancing, something I feel like people could be proud of. You know, but then <laughs> I, felt like, I felt like a voice was telling me, like, you funny. Like, this is your cool talent. You right, know what I'm saying? Right, right. Because it take a lot to get up in front of people and, and be funny, especially when ain't shit funny. Yeah. yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying. Right. You ain't yeah. got nothing to laugh about at home. Nothing at all. You know, and Marcus, <laughs> right. he was telling me like um, earlier, he was he had uh said like, yo yo humor's so dark, like it come from a dark place, you know. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm funny, but that ain't no talent. Like that was bred from like the struggle. Nigga, and, like, that's right. that's being, what it is. Yeah, that trauma, life, the hurt, and the pain. Yeah, yeah exactly. So it's like I had to be funny to to. Stop from crying about right. stuff. It's a defense, defense, yeah, defense, defense mechanism. mechanism right. you know? And people want to hear that. They, they, they that's yeah. what they want to hear. They want yeah. to hear like that's their relatability. And like the chat, you know what I'm saying? Or like the people, even though y'all talked all that shit about me, you know, but y'all was like really motivated me because the voice, the voice was like, "You are good." And like, look at these people. They like was hitting me up, and they was like, "Come back." Like, we want to see you. You know, a lot of people right. follow me from here, and they were sending me like messages and stuff. And I'm like, like this is my talent. Like, I just gotta stay focused. And just keep going. Right. Yeah. You know right. what I'm saying? Because right. I'm like, right. I never really seen success. Right. Yeah. Like, nobody in my family, for real, is doing shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And right. I seen this post the other day, and it said, people is getting rich so they can take care of their family that never got rich to take care of them. Yeah. I'm like, damn, maybe these people do deserve to be left at the hospital after they die. <laughs> 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 but no. <laughs> but no. So I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to just stay focused. I'm going to keep going. I ain't going to let nothing nothing bring me down because I, I got to do something because I realized in the back of my mind, I told myself that my kids is finna get older and get successful and take care of me. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you gave up. <laughs> Boy, that's, that's every black person right, right, uh, playing. Yeah, God damn it. Yeah. Who going, who, where the blueprint at though? <laughs> right, 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 right. How the hell you going to make, want them to be successful when you ain't even got successful or taught them nothing. You know yeah, what I'm right, saying? Right, to to, to right. follow after. So it's like, I just got to keep going. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I just want to be make people proud. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. I don't want to be, I don't want to fail. You know, but like failure is so, I'm so scared of that. Like. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I don't think you know. it's called failure. I don't, I don't, I don't. It's just, it's just a test. It's just what yeah. you have to go through to get to where you got to go through this to get to that, to get to that. Yeah. So, that's what they call it for you. Right. Winner is a loser who tried one more time. <laughs> winner is yeah. a loser that tried one more time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. a winner right. is a loser that tried one more time. Right. You only fail if you don't try for yeah. real. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I had them you got to fail up. I had them days where I just like, oh, I don't want to get up. I just, I just, 
Yeah. You know, and I had to, you know, you have to psych yourself out. Yeah. You, yeah. Like, get up. You have yeah. to talk to, I had to literally talk to myself some morning. Yes. You know what you got to do. You yeah. got to get up. You got to do it. You got to do it. Let's go. And once yeah. I get up and get going. Yeah, right. And once yeah. I started packing the car up. And I, I was like, you know what? Thank you, God, that I even got energy and legs right. to even walk and do all this stuff, you know? Right. And I also want to thank the people that, like, sent me money that one time because y'all don't even know that, like, that this voice told me to come to California, right, before yeah. I had met you. Mm-hmm. He was like, go to California. There's an opportunity out there for you. And I'm like, I don't really got no money to go to California. You know, mm-hmm. God, like, don't you trust me? I'm like, okay. But then I get out here and... And I get to spend the money outside like everybody else, but I don't really got it. You know what right, right. <laughs> I'm everywhere. Like remember right. you said, she cool. She keep pulling up. I don't know why. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> or how? I don't got no money. You and can't I, afford to get back, to but I'm here. Bus, baby. Yeah, and I and I was bus, telling baby. my dad like. I was telling my dad, like, and he probably thought I was joking because I'm I'm not the type of person who don't got money. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But like, it was God that was taking me through something to show me like. See, you've been having all this money that you're depending on yourself, and I got to break you back down and show you, like, who really take care of you, you know? Uh-huh. And so I was uh-huh. like, I ain't had no money. I was telling my dad, I keep tell, kept telling my dad, like, I don't know how I'm getting home. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, but he right. thought I was joking, you know? So Marcus, he ended up telling me, like, hey, if you come over, you know, I'll let you get on the camera. And, like, to the people that sent me money, like, literally, y'all is the reason why I even had gas to drive home. Oh, wow. man, I wow. didn't know that. You know wow. what I'm saying? And oh, that was like shit. such a blessing, you know? So I want to let the people that I hope that God blessed y'all. Cause I did say, if you bless me, God going to bless you. But if he didn't send me a cash app with $1 and say, he didn't give me my blessing back. <laughs> and I'll give it back to you. <laughs> Cause he didn't bless me again. So I got y'all. I got y'all. <laughs> I appreciate y'all here. <laughs> hey, hey man, that's, that's what's up, man. Hey man, that's a testimony, right, man. Right, 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 hey, right. Man. Hey man, squad. Y'all real niggas. I told you. I've been telling y'all that from uh-huh. the beginning, man. Uh-huh. I've been telling y'all, man. It's this. This is totally different from, 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 from what what anybody anybody is, man. Anybody got, man, because it's it, it's it's structured around. It's structured around family, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 we be having group meetings. Yeah, yeah man. Is, and, it's like a big like, ass group. Yeah, meeting. it's like it's like the, this is the family reunion, <laughs> man, and it, and it's real, it's genuine. You know what I'm saying? If y'all fuck with us, y'all fucking with us. If y'all ain't fucking with us, you definitely ain't fucking with us. You know what I'm saying? But everybody, I come pretty much, I get brought on this couch, man. Y'all locked in with them in some way, uh, shape, form, or fashion, man. And and, and man, and nigga, don't don't many shows get that when motherfuckers embrace the people that come on there. You know what I'm saying? And, and and y'all embrace y'all embrace real talent though y'all that's that's one thing about y'all it gotta be some to them for y'all to really fuck with them like y'all to fuck with them over on the strength of us you know what I'm saying in, in a little bit but if they really got that talent oh y'all y'all rocking with them and man, and, and and that's that's I appreciate y'all for that man. I appreciate it. that's love, dog. Hey, man, I'm, I'm glad you said that. I ain't even know that. Yeah, you because you know I would have gave you gas money. See, it ain't. Yeah, yeah, no, that ain't wasn't nothing like that. I knew, I knew, but God was just like trust. But like after I left, I mean, they had gave me like over. I mean, it only took me like fifty some dollars to drive here, but they had gave me over like a hundred and thirty dollars. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. They, they really have came through. That's what I'm really talking the, about. Really, like one of the reasons why. I, I, I'm like, let me go back there. Let me, you know what I'm saying? Like, they really motivated me and stuff like that. You know, they all talked right. all that shit, called me Felicia, big ass. <laughs> all that stuff y'all said. <laughs> hey, see it, see it. That's why I made sure to come correct this time. I put on the good wig. <laughs> Zia said, break faith off with $7 on part three on your boy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> they said she don't put a cash up. <laughs> hey. That haircut she gave her dad, boy, y'all fat. Ah. <laughs> hey, that haircut. Hey. We gonna do a no one soon. Let Reed tell him, man, mainstream the best team. You dig? Yeah, man. Oh, uh, this man. Hey, but yeah, like what they say, man. Motherfuckers don't, motherfuckers don't be trying to. I embrace failure because you got to fail to prevail. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, I don't care what you say. You 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 fail up. You know what I mean? If you taking that lesson, then you you realize it's uh. You you take that lesson, you realize it's a blessing. You know what I'm talking about? You know, it's all the way how you look at it, man, because it's a learning experience. Everything you go through is a learning experience. Did you learn a lesson? That's what you got to understand. You know what I mean? Um, 
But um, but as far as my past week, man, uh, like I said, mama said I did D-Ray. I started off. Now, I'm trying to tap into a little bit like uh I, I came on I came on stage on some on some on some new shit that I wanted to try out, see how it worked. And it was uh, and it's on the dark side, you know what I'm saying? And so I'm working on it, I'm tweaking and shit. But I think I went too far into acting to for it for it to hit the way I wanted to hit. It, it hit, but it didn't hit the way I wanted it to hit. Because I think I touched their heartstrings first. Like real, like it was like, oh shit. And then when I hit them with the twist, it was like Nigga, what? Start, what? <laughs> and like it scattered. And like it was like it was the realization was like, oh shit. And then like, oh, this nigga crazy. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> but it was it was fun to 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 to, to go through that. Um you know, it, it was fun to uh, experience that because I feel like it was like, oh, shit, nigga, I'm, I'm finna have to dig out a hole a little bit. You know right, what I'm right. saying? Because cause they didn't know how to take it. Like, they didn't know how to take me. Like, damn, is this nigga, is he serious? Like, what what, 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 what kind of? And then so, nigga, I had to, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I had to, <laughs> but it was it was fun, though, man. It was fun. I, 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 I reached a, I think I reached a level in comedy uh, now to where, uh, you know, I don't have to, uh, you know, you, you, you when you're in the beginning, you be dependent on them laughs. Like, you be yeah. like, oh, shit, nigga. If they don't laugh, nigga, you like, yeah. You break down like, yeah. fuck, man. Like, <laughs> like, like, if they don't get the react, you don't get the reaction you don't, you want, you like, oh, shit, damn. Uh, I'm dying up here. Yeah. But it's like, now it's like, nigga, I got this. I got shit. I know I can, I can tell y'all ass up with. Yeah. Let me, let me, let me see what this do. Let me test. I can test from the top. You know what I'm saying? Like I ain't even gonna come in with a with a hitter from the top. Fuck that. That's safe. I'm gonna I'm go some go with some unsure shit yeah. and work it out and figure it, out. nigga. And that shit was fun. That shit was, was fun. That the I, first like, time doing his room. No, oh, I do D rays all the time. Oh, okay, okay. No, 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 no. It was just it, it's just I be hitting there. You know what I'm saying? And uh, and but sometimes I do a, a lot of times I be doing uh, you know, throw some new shit in there and shit. But, but like to do it off top and, and then not know to uh be in a room that big. Yeah, and be working stuff out. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do, I, I do it a lot, but I throw it in the middle most of the time. I do it. I, try I, to, I feel like you can't really uh work new shit out in uh open mics because most of the niggas too. there is is you in right. their phone and working on their shit. They yeah, you right. scared about this and they worried about that. So you don't really get no real reaction. Right. Like I didn't get. Well, get it ain't to, about the reaction though. But well, I'm saying I don't get the to, gauge how well right. it's received. Right in open mic rooms, like I can work on the but like, getting comfortable saying it. Yeah, but see, but, but, but you can't gauge it. In a, you can't gauge it anyway because I'm gonna tell you why. All crowds are gonna be different, mm -hmm. so you don't really necessarily know. It be a it could be a bit that fails dramatically in one in one room, mm -hmm. and then you'll go to another room and it kills. Right. Yeah, you see what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times it's about delivery. If if you know the joke has, if you thought of it and it's it was humorous to you in some way, it's gonna be humorous to somebody else. And uh, but it's about tweaking it to a point where you where most people that hear it are mm -hmm. gonna 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 like the bit. So do you so, feel like open mic is for getting comfortable yes, with the joke? Period. Yes. Because I, I, I understand what you're saying. Yeah. It's like it seems that, like there's I, I no no the, one laughs. Right. Yeah. I use the mic. the mic to get comfortable with the the words in the joke like yeah. you know what i'm saying getting getting it out as opposed to working on something new like i don't really right get the to gauge how it's received right. but when i i get on the stage with a nice crowd it's like motherfuckers come like nigga that one shit right. nigga that one shit nigga that one shit like that that right. be that confirmation of okay keep keep tweaking right. that motherfucker and then like Y'all be comedians from the standpoint of y'all have a natural uh, comedic uh, timing flair to yourself. You know, it's like, like presence, like witty. No, no, like naturally, just, just your ability to write jokes. You know what I'm right. saying? Like for me, it's more like, oh, that was funny. Say that. Right. Oh, that was funny. Say that. Like I learned comedic timing and shit like that. Just getting up there, like playing with some shit, mm -hmm. but. 
I don't be at home like, ooh, I can write today. Ooh, mm-hmm. I can write today. Mm-hmm. Nigga, sometimes I, I I wake up out of my sleep like, nigga, write that down. That was funny. But I can't tell myself, I'm going to sit down and write. A story? Right. So you can't do like, so you're telling me like, um, you're not you're not you're not good with like uh, punching up stories and shit like that. I'm not good with punching up anything, nigga. It's got to hit me. I gotta have a a moment of inspiration, and when it hit me, it hit me. But like you, Black Rod, y'all can sit down and have writing sessions. Man, yeah. I can't sit down and have no writing session. I, we I'm just gonna be looking at y'all, niggas. Y'all, yeah. nigga, you ain't got nothing to add. He said nigga, if everything's nah. straight after the eclipse, then I'm back. What what uh, when it hit the star dome? Oh yeah, I got the star dome. What what do June. people think that happened at the eclipse? Like the world for the end? Yeah, I don't know. I ain't I ain't heard nothing. I seen some other uh, shooting stars this past. Uh, yeah, that shit was Monday crazy. Too, nigga. Like, I was, I was, it's was standing down. outside, niggas uh, shooting the shit at um at D Rays, nigga. Late, nigga, and I seen. Some uh, nigga, I'm like, what the fuck? We recorded wow. that shit. It's some, uh, yeah, nigga, your uh, commentary on uh, what's his name. The one, yeah, uh, your commentary in the background, funny as hell. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I nigga, think I'm, what the fuck? <laughs> you, you the old main nigga to stand out. <laughs> yeah, I think I said some about Corey. I said, I said Corey just ordered dinner. It's on the way or some Damn. shit like that. Oh, <laughs> oh, uh, uh, but yeah, man. Um, yeah, it's it's it's, it's it was dope, man. I, we do we did some shooting this past week. Uh, of course, y'all seen the one, and I and we shot something else. Uh, <laughs> So I shot two two sketches. Uh, the other one gonna be coming this this week. Um, man, I got I got y'all see I got a cameraman now, baby. Boy, you that see shit it? Look glossy. You see it, baby? We four K round this bit. What? Huh? Yeah. Do you see the? Yeah. We got cinematic now. Hey, man. Hey, hey. We it's only up from here. You hear me? We doing now. It ain't just you know. It ain't just uh, uh 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 you know me taking my phone and just recording and shit. You know what I mean? Now I got somebody that actually know angles. He actually know you know what I mean. Like he know what he do. All I got to do is get to, uh, let him know what I what I want. He pretty much know the visual and shit. He sent it to me. I tight I tighten it up. However, I decide I want to tighten it up because you know I do my editing and shit too. And she and nigga, we locked in. You know what I'm saying? And so now. I got a, we got a formula, you know, because we've been building a formula, um, and uh, man, it's, 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 I'm loving it, the fact that it's coming together like an orgy, you know what I'm saying? Like it's a, it's a beautiful thing, man. Uh, <laughs> like an orgy. This n word. <laughs> I told my dad when I when I went when I went home after the podcast, I said, "Don't watch it." <laughs> I said them niggas had suits on, but when they started talking, <laughs> they turned back to some niggas. <laughs> they, uh, <laughs> niggas in <Don't> suits, <laughs> right? Niggas in yeah, suits. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, this, this is just how we infiltrate rooms. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, that, and, and that's what that's what and that's what the people don't understand about us. You know, as a people, like like like. Like country niggas like that anyway, you know what I'm saying? Like we'll play a certain way and then goddamn ah, gotcha, bitch. And now we in there. Cause you cause you go you gonna you oh you, you see something, you like, oh, oh that ain't no oh that motherfucker ain't no threat. That ain't right, no right. you know what I'm saying? Like, like they got a suit on, he ain't finna shoot the club up. I mean that motherfucker like, <laughs> like in life, yeah. 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 Uh, a bitch finally get back to me. and girl, that's how I started telling the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Facebook over there got the comments jumping over there. Oh, I forgot. We've been going up on Facebook. I've been going up on Facebook. Facebook been. They said I was looking like I was to d- fight a domestic charge. <laughs> <laughs> Am I the beater or the beat? <laughs> Which one do I look like? You definitely like? look like the beater. <laughs> yeah, you, like you, you beat the nigga. You, you hit the nigga with the heel of your shoe, nigga, in his sleep. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, man. So, uh, yeah, I got Facebook jumping now, man. We got Facebook, man. I, I done passed my subscribers. I done, my followers on Facebook done passed my subscribers. On YouTube, man, and, and face, Facebook instead of going up, you know, because, you know, I get to drop videos on Facebook that I don't get to drop on YouTube. Like, I don't, I don't do the commentary videos on YouTube no more because, nigga, they, when they hit me yeah, with that, that strike, strike. <laughs> it was like, ah, oh, see, I can't even play well, Rhythm For Real. I don't know what videos to drop on that bit no more. Like, 
You know what I'm saying? Like a nigga, a nigga want to keep it just to have consistent content, but is it worth it? it ain't worth losing my motherfucking page, nigga. Shit, mm, right. that my income. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I just drop them on Facebook, drop them on TikTok, drop them on Instagram. So you missing the re? If you ain't on my other platforms, you missing the reaction videos. If you on YouTube and you ain't on my mm. other platforms, you missing all the reaction videos because I'm still dropping them bitches. I'm still. Putting them on there, man. I, I'm I'm gonna wait till this 90 days up. I might start uh, throwing a few up uh, here and there. You know what I'm saying? But I gotta make sure. I gotta make sure they that that, that is it ain't nothing that can get me. Mm-hmm, right. Cause man, I, boy, they they shook me, boy, when they did that to me, boy. I said, damn, you too, huh? They gave me a strike, man, and, and I couldn't even do a uh, mainstream for uh, a, a week. Um, because they they had me uh, banned for like uh, seven days, and I think it was like on a Sunday, so that I had to miss that was Wednesday. Strike from a reaction video. Yeah. Oh dang. Yeah. How? So I was like, damn. Hate dog. speech. Huh? Yeah. Oh, hate speech. Nigga, my daughter uh, got hurt. TikTok uh, got me hate speech for talking about myself. <laughs> right. Right. What the fuck? <laughs> my daughter got her, uh, her. My daughter got her page taken down uh, off YouTube because she made it, the video was hilarious. She dressed up as a white boy. And she had put a little Bass Pro on the front of her hat. And uh, <laughs> at the end of the video, she said, white power. Oh, shit. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> yeah, but it was it was funny. Damn, that's crazy, She dog. was like 10 years old. Yeah, he said, I think it was that Somalian one. Yeah, yeah, it was the one with the little dude dancing, man. <laughs> I was bad at fucking school. Yeah, I was trying to. You know, little people is protected. Yeah, man. You know, I couldn't. Yeah. They wouldn't let me. I said, oh, man. No, I thought it was for the other little one. It was two of them. Did too. Yeah, it was the little. The, the, yeah. yeah, they got me, man. I said, damn, man. Come on, man. But she is. Old you know. booty chin gal. <laughs> I hate y'all. I hate y'all. <laughs> My chin shitting on yours. <laughs> ah, literally. Just the chin and <laughs> <laughs> that, that booty shit though yours. That's the chair and they pain. Yeah, right, exactly. Yeah. Well, then somebody said looking like uh Michael Jackson with the beaded jacket on. Yeah. I said, you know what? Because they used to tell me I looked like Michael Jackson. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, friend look. And one like time Michael I went Jackson. to a concert and uh Twister and Kanye was there. And when they said when they and and Twister the whole time he was tapping Kanye before that part came up and he pointed to me. And when he said light skin friend, they ran over and pointed. In my face, yeah. and then they laughed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> and um, as I got older, I realized Michael paid a lot of money to look like me. I'm not gonna feel You're bad. Right. Enough, <laughs> hey, for for pay for this. You look like the on the way, uh, my uh, not not the finished product, like we, <laughs> the you, on the way, hey, right, yeah. <laughs> like the process version. You know what I mean? <laughs> the great value, Michael. <laughs> All right, man. Let's get to talking this shit, man. Let's get into this not shit, man. Booty chin. I yeah. hate y'all. <laughs> Y'all know I got to get my de- my handy dandies, man. You know what I'm saying? Got to get these these uh, uh magnifying glasses, is what I like to call them. You know what I'm talking about? Huh? Oh, I can see clearly now. The rain is gone. <laughs> now, uh, y'all already know the first segment, man. Uh, you know I got to get them chairs out, man, for them fools that's been acting a fool this week, man. So uh, hit it for them one time, eight. Hey, Sit your country ass down, man. Sit your country ass down, man. A woman in Tennessee, Travancha Ferguson, is suing Wog Travancha. That's a hell of a name. <laughs> you know that's a nigga name right there for sure. Boy. Travancha. You got eight names. It might be Trayvancha. Tra- I don't know, but it's, <laughs> it's ignorant. That's what we're going to call it. Suing Walgreens after em- employer... Uh, employee shot her multiple times in the parking lot, suspecting her shoplifting. God damn. The Nashville Walgreen worker, my Tarius Boyd, was told by another employee, two women, in which was uh, one was seven months pregnant, uh, was stealing from the store. He watched them put stuff in the bags, recorded them, then followed them out as they fled without paying. He approached them in the parking lot. She sprayed them with mace. He bust on motherfucking ass. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 shot, he, he shot her multiple times. <laughs> now, she she pregnant. Sell months. Oh my gosh. And he done shit back. Boy, he done shit back. Though. She, she went to the hospital in critical condition. Now she got to have a colostomy bag to survive. Her baby is at risk of long-term disabilities. The worker was fired. Let me tell you something. 
First of all, I can't stand when these motherfuckers super workers. Nigga. Cause Walgreens? Okay, right. Nigga. Ain't nothing in Walgreens. Bro, what's the most expensive thing at Walgreens? Worth that. It's Not a damn thing Walgreens? in there worth that. Not even them pills they be selling that bit worth now, that. Now, them pills worth a couple dollars. Yeah, a couple dollars, but it ain't goddamn, <laughs> nigga. To go bust a motherfucker, shoot a motherfucker multiple not, times? Not, not when I'm not getting the. the I could have sworn it was illegal payment. to even. Yeah, you ain't supposed to. You, you can't. You ain't supposed to do no. that. No. You can't. <laughs> You ain't, you ain't allowed to do that, man. I know this personally. <laughs> <laughs> look, she ran. Look, she stole it out. She stole it outside the door. Man, right? that boo boo. You can't use that. Cross this line. Cross this line. Yeah, you won't cross this line. <laughs> Hell no. So, nigga, hey, nigga, that's wild. That that you went that extreme. And this extreme. was a nigga. Nah, he was something else. No, Materius. No, I think. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what he was. I don't think he was. I don't think what he was. was his uh, last name? Boy, boy. But that I don't think he was. Nigga. I don't think Man. he was a nigga. Hey, you think you can pull up uh, Materius, boy? I don't, let, me, let me let me see if I can pull that him up. Sound like a nigga name. Boy, you was, do look like Marge. Not Marge. What's the baby name? Maggie. <laughs> <laughs> Maggie. 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 Yeah, yeah, live yeah. action on the Simpsons. Yeah. Hold on. Let me see. They got a picture of this nigga. Y'all are the worst. Right. Uh, <laughs> I was ready to say, what? <laughs> Y'all is mean up. as hell. Did you just hear I said I was depressed for the last fucking week? <laughs> <laughs> The hell is wrong with y'all? Right. They said, Bitch, go home and get back in the bed. Right, right. that's what they said. <laughs> I that's cannot exactly. help what I was born with. That's exactly what they saying. Mother, motherfucker said, I was thinking about ending it all last week. They like, look at her hair. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no fucks given, goddamn. They said, no, she look like Lisa. You do look like a Simpson, though. That's yeah, hilarious. Yeah, she definitely passed for Maggie. Yo, that's hilarious, though. No, I, yeah. Especially when they do the uh, AI of I Maggie grown up. Yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, we're going to have to do something with you. Your ass being a Simpson. Okay. Oh, you is the uh, color, Simpson. too. You're the exact right. color Yellow. of the Simpson. Nigga. Shut oh, up. nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nigga. Oh, who you going to be, the, uh, a pool nigga? Yeah, yeah, they gonna be a pool nigga. So was Mateus you the, black? But you the simp son. Shut up. I don't know if I get it. Oh, fuck <laughs> son. son of the simps. You know what I'm talking about? The simp son, dude. <laughs> We that's know, a, that need to be that's quiet funny. Now, cause yeah, not can, look like no glow. That's funny. We, keep right. that nigga, that's funny. And they said that's the to shing, do a the shing gorilla. To do a parody <laughs> like that. <laughs> terrible. With, to do a parody like that, to do a twist on the Simpsons, mm -hmm. the and, Simpsons. and to be the son of a simp, like the oh. Sim son. Oh, that would be funny. Good nigga. Yeah. That's funny. That would be that, funny. That's, that's worthy. And, that would be funny. <laughs> and this nigga would be goofy as fuck. Like what? Oh, my daddy was a simp. Right. Oh, nigga, we get it. Yeah. <laughs> my, my, my girl went over her boy from um, her ex house last night to, to pick up the car keys. Yeah. But she ain't answering. Yeah. We did, <laughs> she, her phone must have died. <laughs> we hit that nigga, the simp. Is that the pregnant lady at the bottom? Um, I don't know. Or is that supposed to be me and Chad? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> That's the one that got shot. Oh, she was like, I, I don't know who the I don't know who the dude is, what the dude is though. I feel like, like I seen it, but I forgot. That's somebody said Ethiopia. Oh, the dude was Ethiopia. That's what somebody in chat. Yeah, because it seemed like it'd be some that ain't definitely ain't, this ain't nigga black been in Ethiopia shooting uh the mouth the mouth uh what's it called. <laughs> Yeah, he was shooting the nigga. Uh, wait to shit. use a real gun. <laughs> <laughs> and they were shooting dark guns his whole life. He could wait, wait to use his pistol. Uh, uh, he said, uh, "Great Black said, yeah, you got to do it that way. Y'all know I put it together now. I put it together. Yeah, I forgot how we how, how we write that thing, but that's funny. Nigga, that hard. Yeah. That's easy. Yeah, hell yeah. You going to play it. 
character. You uh, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> fucking need me to play some shit like that. I always get Kyle Hart. Help me redeem. <laughs> hey. So uh, what was she stealing? Bruh, ain't nothing in Walgreens worth popping a motherfucker for. No, no. <laughs> yeah. right, right. Like she had to got let me have the whole freezer section on a dolly or something. Like <laughs> Man. she had to steal the refrigerators. Well, I know she wasn't stealing condoms in that motherfucker. What hilarious. Anyway. <laughs> What'd you say? What are they doing with guns? It, that wasn't a security right, guard. Right, right. No, yeah, right. that's... Hey, what is, so right. he had it. That's what I'm saying. Did he have it on him? so it? much more questions. He must have had it on him. Damn, she little as hell. Wait, no, for Ooh, real. He could have tackled her. She was still in college and got them. For real. <laughs> <laughs> she probably was, she, she probably she was pro- still in beauty products. Is product. that the bullet wound? Those are expensive. Damn. He shot in that little ass arm, boy. Yeah, and I ain't she gonna still lie. Got some more. I didn't stole from uh from CVS and Walgreens before, only because the beauty products are expensive. <laughs> yeah. You ever see something so expensive? You like, I'm I'm stealing this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cause they be overcharging shit. Yeah, you be like, you, they be hard, higher than Walmart and shit. Yeah, like you'll go to Walmart, you get a thirty pack. I remember they had the thirty packs for uh like twelve dollars mm-hmm. a, a condom. Go go in there, get your Magnum, 30 pack, $12, wild boy. The motherfucker like 26. $30 yeah. in Walgreens. But the, but the funny Girl, thing is, $30 in, in Walgreens. In Walgreens and, and, uh, and, well, Walgreens, yeah, like in a store like that, like they lock the condoms up, mm-hmm. they lock the baby milk up, like right. anything of value, you right. actually have to call somebody over to get it. To get it, right. So, yeah, so what? She had to have some, something cheap. Yeah. He Man. was mad because he got maced. <laughs> he popped her ass. Oh uh, yeah, yeah he was mad but, the, he well, but he mad. had to have that thing on him. So he went. You went outside on bullshit. <laughs> and then how many? How many times did he shoot her? Oh uh, man, they said multiple times. So he probably was just firing because if he was mazed, <laughs> that, that yeah. shit dude How do you fuck even you see? Hell no, because you had to see she was pregnant. Yeah, because the boy that made boy, I'm telling you, boy, bitch got me, boy. He had to see she we was at a party. <laughs> I'm in a party in Atlanta. And 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 I it was just one bit, man. I don't know why. Why, why the fuck we got into this back with my boy, uh, my boy Black. We, we used to be, I used to be with all the time Bryce, uh-huh. and he had me up in there with this bitch. Uh, I, I remember this because I, I just got through fucking this African bitch. She was mustard. That's oh, how, uh, well, I just, I just, but she was African, so you know I expect that. No, no, no. What? Uh, all Africans don't stink. But it's some of them who do. Some of them, some well, of them from the Congo. Like and some African Americans and white people stink too. And yeah, Mexican. I'm just saying. But some of them from the Congo. Some it's, just it's and she, she that they don't like deodorant. Yeah, though. and she was one of those. She was African. You supposed to commonly get up. Right. No, I did. I come, I come, uh-uh. then leave and get up. <laughs> that that <laughs> one go there. You say you supposed to come and leave store. and get up. I come, I, I come and leave and get up. That's what I did. Yeah. And man. Man. She wasn't a tad bit mustard. She was busty. And I ain't had no cooch in a while. So, you know. I was, what do that say about you? <laughs> I was thirsty. I was, oh, no. I was thirsty. You said this bitch. when you was young. Yeah, I was about, about 20. Not yet. Too old. <laughs> <laughs> hey, boy. Hey, I seen a post the other day, though. This man said he liked uh, to sleep with girls that's a little musty because he said it get him an adrenaline rush. Have y'all ever felt that way? No, you just nasty. <sighs> he nasty, too. Right, exactly. Nah. I, yeah. I, I like the musk of a woman, like her natural pheromone. Mm-hmm. But I want that your That ain't pits. musk. Natural pheromone ain't, ain't it, musk. Right. Ain't nothing wrong. That's what they call it, musk. Ain't nothing wrong with a little right. walk around. He said musk and mm-hmm. must are different. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, Ain't nothing wrong with I, I a little... I think niggas <laughs> made up the <laughs> word <laughs> musk. Fix my hat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with a little walk around. You no. Know what she got a little <laughs> walk around on her. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, you know what I'm I walk her down. She got a little walk around. You know what I'm saying? You're walking down. I walk her down. She you got a little... walked a musty girl down. You were walking down. Man, that was that was time was hard right there. That, that time, time was hard. Yeah. But if she got that little that little, you know, I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take I'm a in, shower I'm in, before all that go on. Hold on, Just man. Stay. Hold on before you get in there. I might I might be a little ready. I'm already ready. I'm, by the time you take a shower, bitch, I'm going down. No, you well, you you get back up. Huh? No, I want it right now because I'm I'm I'm, I'm I made it my no. peak. I'm hot just like an oven. You know what I'm saying? No. And I'm trying to put some stuff in. 
in your muffin. You know what I'm saying? You don't feel me knocking? <laughs> Tangy Coochie you Bill's character. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell uh-huh. you, man. No. Uh-uh. He said a little hey, as long as it ain't too funky, if it, it then when it get Ooh. when it get to a point where it's funky, then that's a whole nother thing. Well, she was funky. You just right. said she was. Right. No, she. I said she was musty. No, you said a rough. No, I said. So, it was, I said so she made musty. you with her like, must. No, it wasn't her that made me. It was another girl. <laughs> he had just left from This guy just left. This I was the segue. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I that's how I remember. This is how I remember his story. Ooh, I'm over there hollering at a amazed. chick. I'm over there hollering Sound at like a chick, and she got mad at me smell her. about something, man. Cause we had been talking early and shit, and, and she got mad at me about something, man. Cause you was messing with that musty girl. <laughs> she was she was messing. Messing. She she said, I am not your type, nigga. <laughs> 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 That musty girl, and you gonna try to talk to me? I'm right. offended. Right. And I smell it. I smell right. it. Right. Right. Okay. Oh, that's what it was. She was mad. You was talking to her, and you was musty. Now it had rubbed off on you. She thought she grabbed air freshener. Yeah. And it, it was mace. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Ooh, some of us busted. Oh shit! They got the best thing. What did you do to get mace? Hey, man, I think I. I think I oh I put I think I popped my dick on the head. I was dancing. Sir, what? I was like, <laughs> she was she was standing there and I, I, was, I was doing. I knew you was coming up in them ditty files. No, so. <laughs> <laughs> I was dancing, but she was standing right there and she I was de- like, Ugh. she definitely related to Mateus. <laughs> yeah. You don't mace nobody for that. She said she was teaching you your lesson. Yeah, she was, but I, you know, I had already, you know, what I'm saying where she knew who I was, but had been talking to her and shit, and, she, and then and then I was like, yeah, boom, boom, you know what I'm saying? We just, I was just dancing. Freaking man. Yeah, I was freaking man. I'm in that freaking man. You know what I'm saying? And she was like, motherfucker. Turn around. Don't be disrespecting her like that. Right. That was disrespectful. Maybe yeah. you had stank with that bit because you had just got done messing with the musty girl. <laughs> right. And if her underarm smell like that. Man, hey man. That's, she this couldn't is, have been fresh. Man, right. I wanted to whoop that hoe so bad, man, but I couldn't see her. <laughs> because at first, you know, you were first, when, that first five seconds, you a tough nigga. Who the fuck, bitch? Ah yeah. shit! That motherfucker get the boy. That motherfucker get the hit. Yeah. Oh, God. By, the, by the time that motherfucker make it to your oh, throat, you talking about the girl or the other the, 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 the mace? Oh. The mace. Well, you like you. <laughs> <laughs> boy, that shit hit, man. I'm talking right, about right. it. We get to sit like it's sizzling on your face. I said, oh, oh. <laughs> Bryce, we at? I can't see Bryce. Oh. <laughs> So I give me some water. Well, you huh. stupid. I finna die. Huh. Nigga, I'm talking about everybody. They were mad. Everybody was mad at him. Not see, a stinky link. That nigga said a stinky link. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see people do that and just keep walking. Shit. Yeah. Them motherfuckers. That, that what, shit caught me off guard. Shit. You said you got Mace. No, I saw a guy on the TV and he got Mace. Yeah, he, 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 was, he was used to it. He was used to it. He probably never been Mace before. See, when you ain't never been Mace, this shit hit you different. Yeah. That shit take your whole my breath mama, away. Uh, maced her boyfriend, her ex one time. And uh, he was, like you said, he was being cool for, for like while he was walking towards her. But I guess it started got to hitting him. <laughs> I'm going to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> That shit came that's what back. I, that's what I was that saying. Shit came I'm back a, on me. You know what I'm saying? That's what I said. I'm gonna kill I'm this not bitch. Even right there either. So yeah, it spread. She made the house that yeah. day. That's what I said. I'm gonna kill this bitch. He said, I'm gonna kill. I'm gonna kill this bitch. Well, I was, no, I'm gonna kill your mama. Hey, boy, I was looking for that bitch. Again. I was like, man, what else? where where pop me that bright? Where are pop me that? <laughs> after after this shit happened, nigga, I was it's, I was it's milk. No I water. was in that. I was in the no sink, laid out like this, nigga. <laughs> this shit ain't working. <laughs> this shit ain't working. What you? Nigga. What they do? Huh? What they do? She, nigga, I, I was I was steady spraying. But what, what was they? What was they doing to you to make you better? Oh, nigga, they was trying to get that water on me. They said milk. No yeah, water. but see, I ain't know nothing about no milk. That shit was. I got I got pepper spray by a security guard too, cause cause another nigga was arguing with him. I didn't know it was a difference between mace and pepper spray. It was another nigga arguing with him at the door. I was in Dallas. Mm. I'm at a club. I'm trying to get in with somebody. Who was that I was with? Pissed me off. I remember it was a bitch with us. It was she was arguing. Her name like Portia or something. She done got to arguing with the nigga. Mm. Now I done been sprayed before at this point. Mm-hmm. She get to arguing with him. With, with the nigga at the door, what? Did that nigga, what, what? I'm like, hey man, 
Man, we just trying to get up in here, man. I'm chill. I ain't even up. She mad about, I forgot what she was mad about. Nigga, the nigga said, hey, y'all better step back because it's going to be a problem. Mm-hmm. I said, man, what the fuck you talking about, dog? Should have stepped on back. Nigga. <laughs> that nigga. Shh. I said, oh, motherfucker. Man, let me tell you what this bitch did. This bitch said, nigga, you ain't saying shit. I eat this shit, nigga. <laughs> you was with a thug. I said, hey, bitch, hold on. <laughs> that nigga sprayed her again. Oh, wow. She said, what, nigga? <laughs> What nigga? Oh, she was on something. All right, that's all about to say. She was on something. This yeah, bitch like, too tough. Yeah, no, she yeah. on something tough. Yeah. Nothing. She, she, was, she was on strong drugs. Boy, I ain't, even, <laughs> I ain't even want that pussy no more, boy. I mean, that's nigga. not like a girl that be, uh, beat niggas. Man, uh, listen, uh, man, she stood and she stood on her square. That motherfucker, man. Uh, she she stood on her square at the nigga. <laughs> Like yeah. what's up? You ain't saying that bitch ass. You were talking. That crazy sound like to a crackhead. You was with a crackhead mm-hmm. that night. And, then, no, he didn't and I'm seeing through my left what I got left. Yeah. I'm seeing them still. <laughs> when I chest. I'm like, God, dude, this bitch is how am I suffering over here? And this bitch standing. That's it. I'm, I'm like, I'm over here suffering hard. This motherfucker. This bitch like. I eat that shit, nigga. <laughs> Fuck is you talking about, nigga? She was. I said, yeah, oh, she this was definitely old powder. She was definitely old powder. So to answer your question, Faith, mace is a form of pepper spray that's more of an irritant, irritant, and oh. pepper spray is inflammatory. Oh man. Okay, I'm gonna have to make sure I get the right shit next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds like <laughs> it, it, it sounds like there's some pep, uh, some some uh, after effects, some residuals come yeah. with that pepper spray. Yeah, go have a motherfucker swole up. Man, listen, that <laughs> not was... Faith Rawlings. Man, <laughs> <laughs> y'all are terrible. Oh, uh, Ashley Larry, hilarious. Yes. Why they call you that? Faith Rawlings. Is it the ass? What's his name? Uh, Don't know. I know, but why they saying why they? Yeah, oh. it's probably the eyes. Oh, you do got them big ass eyes. I need to start oh, yeah. back smoking weed yeah, so my eyes no, just, get low. No, you got to get you got to eat get to get your weight back up, man. So they right, so my eyelids can get heavy. Get right, jaws bigger. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, right, right. 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 Spray ass with some pepper spray. Right. Yeah, I'm starting to look like I I steal for drugs, not just for fun. Hey, we're gonna shake her back. You hear me? Hey, she gonna next time you see her, what she gonna be? We gonna shake back like a stripper. You hear me? She gonna shake back like a stripper. Don't worry yeah. about it. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have face so thick on y'all that y'all be like, God <laughs> damn, what you do to Faith? I'm like she, Faith was eating around this motherfucker, man. You Sounds hear me? good to me. Yeah. Plus, you know, when y'all had first met me, I had just stopped eating meat. Hmm. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So gotta, it was like I had lost fun. so much and drinking. Yeah. And when you don't drink no more, that excess alcohol bloat go away. Yeah. So it was like I had like a lot of extra alcohol and and meat weight, you know. What I'm <laughs> yeah, it's that meat like weight. Meat weight. But then I I got I started doing detoxes, and so it was like all because people don't be knowing they be thinking they just fat, but they full of shit, literally. Right. Yeah. Right. So once full I start, yeah, you know, intestines just Colon backed all cleans. the way up. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. That's I was saying uh, this nigga tried to kidnap me last time I was here after the show. I said he had fried fish and uh, <laughs> green, green healthy drinks and ashwagandha pills. <laughs> it's nice over here. <laughs> I like a good detox drink. <laughs> but yeah, so I lost all that. But yeah, I would. Vegans be big too, though. So you know what I'm saying. Once That's I get the from eating that sugar, goddamn it, because sugar is vegan. <laughs> you stupid. They start eating too much sugar. That's mm. what it is. That's be. funny because I can't. I don't. I don't have no taste for no nothing sweet either. I think pure after vegans I don't, don't use don't yeah. eat sugar like yeah. that. Yeah. Stop, stop eating all that meat. Sugar, I don't even have no taste for nothing they sweet go or in nothing. Vegan restaurants. Yeah, I think they use sugar substitutes. And I think they eat a lot of fried food. Mm-mm. Fried food and sugar. Yeah. 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 So, but yeah, I'm gonna get my weight back. Don't worry, y'all. I'm gonna stop looking like I. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm I'm keep over here. To, to do tell drugs. Us, yeah, I'm gonna keep over here for about about four five days. Yeah, I'm gonna stop back. looking like I do the drugs that that girl was on when she got maced. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this shit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> do you? Grim. Oh, but to to the damn food that went out there <laughs> from Fritos. the from. From the uh, Walgreens and, and shot this damn woman up <laughs> yeah. for nothing. <laughs> for nothing. 
Sit your country ass down, man. Like she stole it from. Yeah, he act like she stole it directly from him. <laughs> you know Look, she Look little. How skinny she is. Is, it, is that why? That, that yeah. must be. She must be because because she was pregnant. Right. And I words. imagine she wasn't that pregnant. That is not I, a word. That is a word. I can imagine she wasn't that side when she was pregnant. Some skinny people. So I wonder if that so people little. don't gain weight. Yeah, I, no, I wonder if that colostomy like bag. So I wonder if that colostomy bag fucking her weight up. They could be. You know what I'm saying? She probably she got can't shit eat. In the bag. She probably can't eat like that no more. Like she probably depressed, laying laying in a bed, like all that stuff make you lose weight. Yeah, she probably. Yeah, she Damn, probably. I mean, look, that's probably what it is, this man. This nigga aim. First I of all, I can't, I can't tell the difference between the, <laughs> the between the mic stand and her legs, nigga. Which one is which <laughs> one is which? I can hear him. That's what I'm little. saying. <laughs> this nigga aim. First of all, to shoot her multiple times while you was maced. This nigga was a pro at shooting mouth darts. Man, I'm telling you, look. Okay. <laughs> Literally. The, the, Talking about shot multiple times with what? The bullet had to uh, move in the out, nigga, to catch her ass. Okay. Nigga, like, Hold on, nigga, we miss it. That, mother, yeah, that nigga had a... That's a big sweater, whatever she got on. His that, exactly. Hey, that, that nigga had a... I mean, she uh, is uh, bullets on Mario. Boy, that nigga had a, that nigga had a bone detector bullet. That nigga... Yeah, <laughs> that nigga find the nearest bones in this bitch because she ain't got fair. no meat on her, boy. Golly, yeah, what? Was in the hospital, yeah, that gotta be what it is, man. They no, gotta be. And uh, <laughs> and he gonna get in trouble if something wrong with that baby. Oh, Boy, yeah. she black, man. He's straight. It's bro. That's sad. The, sad. It, they I ended with the worker was fired. I ain't heard nothing about no pro- charges. That's Chris. what I was wondering. Like, what happened to the arrest and all that? that and that's crazy. Yeah, that is crazy as hell, I'm man. If you ain't, more if you ain't get no charges, boy. Boy, boy, don't piss me off. Okay, we have Shit. to find that nigga. Take justice man, unto ourselves. I'll tell you, man, because why in the fuck, man? Listen, piss me off. Shit. Uh, Department of Justice sues Utah prison after their refusal to provide the trans inmate with hormone treatment caused him to cut his testicles off. They sue him for discriminating against the man due to gender dysphoria. Mm. And he also... uh. Suing for not being allowed to have female clothing. Uh, according to Assistant Attorney General Christian Clark of the Justice Department Civil Rights Division, people with gender dysphoria should be able to seek the full protection of Americans with the Disabilities Act, just like other disabilities. Boy, I be goddamn. Boy. Don't get me canceled on this. Hey, Miss Beverly. Oh, oh, shit, man, listen. First of all, hell in a motherfucking basket. Man, well, first of all, you cut your own nuts off. Right. And you suing somebody for you self inflicting nut. You get nut juice all over the, 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 the prison floor. <laughs> nut juice is crazy. He cut his penis off in jail? He did it in jail. He, 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 not, just, want, he just wanted it off. He didn't want it no way. And look. And I'm that's, saying, and that's what and I'm penis saying. is way different. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, f- first oh, of all, ain't that what you want to be? You want to be a bitch, don't you? Ain't that what you were striving to be? You said you said you're trans. No, no, no and sound peace. like you 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 halfway <laughs> now. No peace. No, no, no peace. Huh? I have to read this shit again. <laughs> she read it again. <laughs> like, like, like. This is my thing. Like. If you desire to be a woman, what you have seven for? You can't, you can't, you got to be fully downloaded. You can't be a uh, uh, buffering. He's fully downloaded. Marcus look like Sweaty Kruger. Fuck you, man. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, God. Listen, if you're going to have, you can't have seven. I don't feel like that's why I feel like they gotta lay down law. If you gonna consider yourself that, you gotta go full fledged. You gotta cut that thing off. You are you want to be a woman? You gotta have woman parts. Cut that thing off. Now you're a woman. You have to turn around and put it in there so you can have a, a, a another thing. What? You know when they do that transfer thing, they they cut it and, and push push it up in there so it can be. But they they like probably right. ain't rejecting right. that though. Exactly. But exactly. that's why I'm saying, and that's why I say, if you gonna do it, 
Do it all the way. And if you ain't, can't commit to it, you can't do it. It got to be a guideline laid down. It got to be some type of rules to this shit. My motherfucker can't just come in this motherfucker with a fade and 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 and, 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 and goddamn me dick hard and 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 and, 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 and an outfit and and, 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 a, and a clean ass outfit, an outfit and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For Dora, you dress like a whole nigga. Like, hey, yeah, I just want to let you know I'm I'm, I'm, I'm a tra- no. You ain't even try, motherfucker. Yeah. You ain't even try. So y'all ain't gonna have no standard for it. You the community, y'all should have a standard. This y'all should be telling. This is getting out of control. Man, y'all should be telling them. Hey man, if you are gonna come over here and be a T, you gonna have to d- 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 pay a fee and get you, <laughs> and get you, and remove your D. You know what I'm saying? Stupid. <laughs> y'all got to set. Uh, y'all got to lay down a law, man, because y'all is over here in, on our side, and y'all fucking with us. <laughs> got got us confused. We shouldn't even be knowing what's going on over there. Y'all got us confused. Cause when you get in jail, your ass in regular population with everybody else. Yeah, like when you go to jail, you lo- you what happened to losing privileges? Man, you are you are just like because they taking all them damn. <laughs> Uh, yeah, them pills. They take out them pills. It. That's got them thrown off. And then you, right. and then y'all talking about uh, they that da- disabilities. So you know it's something wrong with it. Now you know. Do you know that back in the day, uh, forms of homosexuality like that, like the trans, was categorized mental illness. as mental illness. Mm-hmm. And then for whatever reason or they want to be so inclusive you know what i'm saying they decided to not categorize it as that but stuff like this just proved but this who is- does first of all why would you cut your nuts off in in jail man and know man do you know how hey, pissed off i'll be i slip it medical, I, my cousin medical, in prison crazy. right now and can't barely get no health care for his yeah, seri- the seriousness of his you know what I'm now. saying <laughs> actual illness you know what I'm saying they telling him like if you, we send you to the hospital we gonna have to take you off the list that's that where you get to do work release right. so they gotta pick between his health or if he wanna go home right. bro the, do you know how pissed off I'd be if, I, if I'm walking through prison and I fuck around and slip and I find out it's <laughs> some nut juice and blood. I can't believe he didn't. Live. I mean, he he stayed, you know, alive. Yeah, they probably he, right, probably, he right. probably had to go straight to it. They, that's probably re, only reason why they had shipped him out. Ship, yeah, they probably go to the hospital. Yeah. They probably right. like, oh, we got to get you straight. And to he a probably doctor. knew what he was doing. Like part of him, like sometimes they know what they're doing to get what they want. Man, listen, y'all. Right. y'all or was, he had a mental illness, and he should have been in a different. He should have been in a psych ward with his arms wrapped behind his back. <laughs> yeah, because because you got you got. You say mental mm-hmm. illness. Now you talk about you covering them with the disability act, n- n- nigga. What? So you saying they disabled? Oh, uh, what you and mean? And then he's suing for discrimination against his gender dysphoria. Yeah. What does that even mean? Man, you can't. <laughs> you, <laughs> this is this is a thing. You came in a men's prison. You are considered a male in a. If you in a men's prison, everybody get treated as men. Period. Yes, if you, you should have. Tia had- Tequila. What was her name? Tila Tequila. Do y'all remember that one girl? She Asian. Like, yeah, that's a, a a man, right? She's a man. I thought it was, but maybe it's a different one. It's this real popular like trans um woman right now that just recently went to jail, and they had her on there because she was asking the judge like. Do I really gotta stay in the men's prison? Like you a man. <laughs> right. And, and that's what yes. it comes down to. You know what I'm saying? And people always say, Well, I'm a woman and women are this one. But when you go to jail, what side is they putting you on? Uh, but you know what? On the flip side, they did put somebody that was trans in the in the women's they, yeah. and they got two people three people. Two. Right, right. And they they get sued if they're not providing condoms for them. Bruh. Mm-mm. Listen. That's why they got you the gay are, war. Do y'all for understand them. the confusion that y'all are putting amongst everybody? Right. And look, I can tell right. y'all this: if I go in front of the judge again, goddamn it, Yana, I'm no, a woman. Send me over there. <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm Yana. <laughs> <laughs> That's a thing. Say, 
send me over there, y'all. Send me over there with my people, y'all. Let me look at it. Let me not do his hand. He's still doing like a man. I'm taking my titty pills, y'all. <laughs> they they on the way, Yana. Send me over there with my people, <laughs> my girls, Yana. <laughs> well, I'm gonna switch it up. It's gonna be two hundred. Y'all come to the. Y'all go. Y'all coming up with a wig on. Hey, the, look, the court. Y'all gonna have to come visit me on the woman's side. God damn it, I'm gonna be over there. Braiding bitches' hair and everything. Hey, I'm gonna come visit your ass. Hey, man, put me on one of them hoes, cuz. <laughs> These is my bitches. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta put something on my commissary. You want some of these, You know, a lot of gang members do that. Do what? They, to stay safe, they uh go on the, they go on the, um, Girl on, the gay, side? on the gay side. It's the, oh, the it's gay a gay war. side? It's like a gay war because they can't it's put the gay, gay ones with the regular ones because they. What's the gay one? It's just, they it's just like, what? like gay I ain't men. heard that. Yeah, gay men. No, they put them. Was this some set. Chicago shit? I mean, it, they do be doing that in Chicago, but it's. I ain't never I heard thought that. It was, uh, I thought it was like all prisons, or maybe it's jail. Yeah, no, hell they no. no gay How side you think folks get in? took? Well, I folks guess I get wouldn't took know. They, be, they be, but see, they, it's this one. Uh, Nikita Dragon. Nikita Dragon. Nikita Dragon, she a transgender influence, influencer, and she was mad that she was held in the man's jail. Yeah, so they, they probably dragging she, that nigga all up through that motherfucker. He still got right. a penis. Right. Okay. Right. Yeah, Nikita, Nikita getting dragged all up through that motherfucker. Boy, they dragging the shit out of Nikita Dragon. Yeah. They, they, oh, he said it is a gay war. Yeah, right? it's a gay I've war. never heard of that. Mm-hmm. Is that protective custody? <laughs> right, kind of, I mean, but not. Bit, if you can't get you in just, protective custody, you just that, be gay like to go over there. That's like orchestrating the orgy, though. Man, <laughs> put them all in there together. <laughs> they be that in there is, gay as hell too. They be man. making dresses out of they um and somebody, like two piece <laughs> outfits. Somebody called it G Unit. There you go. G Unit. G Unit. Yeah. Hell no. <laughs> Y'all like ain't a, never seen that episode of like Scared a, Straight when they took them little boys in the gay unit. So they, and remember that it's a it, yeah, yeah, and it's like a, a girl uh, on both sides. Right, of me. right. <laughs> That's why she she was That's like, like a really with, have with, to with, stay? with face dysmorphia. Yeah, he's a weird looking motherfucker. That nose I've been fixed. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Same, it's a weird looking motherfucker right there. Hell yeah, no! This is, this got is some good contour. This is witchcraft. Yeah, that's bitchcraft. You crafted yourself into a bitch. I ain't yeah, know that. the gay pie. Yeah, I ain't know nothing about that. Mm-hmm. I don't. I didn't. I don't. It's. I don't know. it's it can yeah, be safe over there, but wait, if wait, you do so, something to piss them off, so you finna give a motherfucker a free <laughs> okay. rent, no, yes. free food, and all the sex they want for the rest right. of however long they in there. Boy, right. shit, that sound like a stimulus. Do you know how mad? <laughs> do you know how mad you would be? You got to work in that ward. Yeah. It's like, Ooh, it smell like why, shit in that bubble. That's, that's, why, that that's why I think that some men, like, so, haven't you ever been <clears> like, why you keep going to jail? Oh, yeah. Oh, they like Because some people go to jail and they be like, I'm never going back, and they don't. And then some people get out and go right back. And it's like, you have a man that you miss yeah. or something. You know oh, what yeah. I'm saying? You was in the gate ward and we didn't know. Damn, nigga. You, I, I ain't know nothing about that, boy. I ain't know nothing the, about that. The gay ward. I ain't know, yeah, they're locking yeah, that, that sounds like a privilege. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's that. You finna go in there, eat for free, got all the sex you want. If you a taker, yeah, though, I mean, because, because, oh, no, it, oh, no, if you're you a taker, because some of them get took, they don't really like being over there. I mean, I guess but they gotta be over be there because it's safer. in the gay war, but shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be them big. There's some bullies over Listen, there. Hell one, yeah. One, but they one, probably wouldn't even let them over there. One thing you don't wanna ever fight right. is a gay nigga. They got so much childhood trauma bottled up in them. You ain't never seen a gay nigga fight. One time the police came to arrest my cousin. He whooped they ass and threw them in the bathtub in Man, high school. They know how to. <laughs> in, high, in high school. <laughs> Okay, do not fight a gay nigga. They are that motherfucker. They put all they they know. They be how to, whooping ass. They know how to concentrate all their power <laughs> into the wrist right here. And, they, and when they come across your motherfucking ass, they bop your motherfucking ass. <laughs> yeah. They gonna give you all their trauma right here. Bye, they, 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 and they gonna cock that bitch back again. Bye, yeah, 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 yeah. Gorilla punch a nigga. Yeah, yeah. nigga. No, they, they, they hit you with the some wrist. Of the strongest niggas. <laughs> Look at in the, the flick of the wrist. Nigga, that's, <laughs> That's why they. That's why they be like that all the time. They wrist hurt. 
<laughs> from, from popping niggas. They <laughs> popping niggas with that goddamn wrist. You hear me, boy? That bubble gap, boy. That, that's what got uh, our boy in 300 fucked up. He was, if those boy lovers to the north want war. <laughs> they got when they got their ass toe up. <laughs> yeah. She who got toe up? Nigga, that they were overtook by the end of the movie. God damn it! Who the gay man? The three hundred. Oh, 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 oh! I'm gonna say, oh yeah, I'm gonna say they ain't take yeah. them gay man. Them gay man won. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. If those boy lovers to the north want war. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He, did say that. <laughs> he did say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nigga. Now his own no. <laughs> nigga, that shit. Yeah, that's that's crazy, dog. That's that's that's, that's insane, bro. So it's like, it. and so it, it's not a mental illness anymore, but it's a disability. Because what's the last part of that? Talking about people with gender dysphoria, yeah, should be able to seek the, the full, full protection, protection. Of the with the Disability Act, just like other disabilities. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, that's what I'm saying. What? Go ahead. Go ahead finish. So, so is mental illness considered a disability? Right. Yes. yes. It is. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So so now y'all back considering it a mental illness is what y'all saying. Because no, y'all took it away from being a mental they're illness. They're making it a disability without it being a mental illness now. <laughs> I, I, I feel like it's a matter of convenience. You get to pick and choose whichever's more convenient exactly. in the moment. Yeah. Right. <laughs> they're trans. That's dis- disabled. crazy. So, so trans, t- t- initially, you can transfer to whatever you needed to transfer to. At any given moment. Yeah. So that that's that perfect to put that in the beginning of it. Hmm. Interesting. They stupid. They're, uh, uh-uh. that, They're wrong. <laughs> that's I, 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 think, I think the real agenda though is if you if you have wealth wealth inequality and you want that to keep expanding. Mm-hmm. More poor and only the motherfuckers who focused on the bag are focused on the bag. You got Everybody else distracted by these menial ideas. Mm -hmm. So you give a whole population of people the ability to argue about what is a woman. Yeah. The two year olds can tell you what a woman is. Mm -hmm. Y'all got grown ass motherfuckers having whole ass debates with scientists, people who are educated beyond their years. Mm -hmm. And y'all debating with disabled people <laughs> right <laughs> mental disabled mental infants mental you know infants. what i'm saying and i feel like the the powers that be like giving us distractions and Who the more distractions we invest this? in the the easier it is for them to have their way i mean that's that's I'm looking that's, like a black <clears throat> hole that's uh-huh. that's that's um the uh that's the that's kind of like how you do when you go to a zoo like if, if the if the if they want uh, certain animals distracted, they'll throw something over there. Yeah, to to, to feed the animal and what, and they go in there and do whatever they need to do. Yeah, while the animal, that's that's what they feed it's you. Perfect. They go feed you bones or feed you little, this little meat right here. Why you doing that? They going over here and they, they and they fucking shit up. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's because because as strategy. a civilization, we have trinkets. You know what I'm saying? We'll. Oh, I, I need these jewelry. I, oh, I need the newest phone. Oh, I want nice clothes. You know what I'm saying? We distract ourselves with so many things throughout life. We don't ever focus on generational wealth and right. achieving, you know, mm-hmm. uh, complicated, complex things. Right. We focus on having menial shit that anybody can have. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when when it comes to people who are really cut like that, who really about their bag, who really about changing their position in life, they ain't got no competition. They looking at us like, boy, you don't wake up early enough or go to sleep late enough. I done outran your ass years ago before before you even find out that it's a race. I'm going to be across the finish line. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It's funny because my dad today, he was telling me, he had said that uh, he was having a conversation (laughs) with this woman and he was was telling her like, you know, they, they distract us with all these things to distract from what else is going on Mm -hmm. and then he had used oh no he said that uh if it's a conspiracy theory it's probably true right it just haven't come out yet like the whole thing about how they was saying uh uh diddy was involved in biggie and Pac murder and all these things like that and back then it was just a conspiracy theory but now it's coming out to be true Mm -hmm. and she had made a comment like well when you uh deal with people of 
bigger values, those things aren't even like topics that that even come up. Right. Like you can't yeah. even be conspired on that. And then he said it had made him think like, damn, people some people don't even talk about that shit at all. Right. Yeah. yeah. People that's actually mm-hmm. getting money don't give a damn they don't care. what that's Diddy and them. Pac and all. Exactly. It ain't even, it ain't even got to be uh, money oriented. Just when you are in a, a room with um, critical thinkers. Right. They stop considering your opinion as soon as you say something like, oh, I believe in God. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like you can look at the breakdown of of college educated people and their religious faith, whether they grew up in it or whether they started uh, following it later in life, like the percentage gets smaller and smaller, the bigger the degree. By the time you get to the highest degrees in the world, only 2% of those people have religious faith. Right. Mm. It's funny. We were talking about that too today. Cause I had an uncle who was like gung ho. My dad was saying when I first met him, he was in the bushes praying, you know, everybody thought he was so weird. And then he ended up going to seminary school and like, this man has no faith no more. Yeah. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? He didn't educated himself right out of even his belief. Right. Yeah. God, which is yeah. weird. Well, well, because they, the they more give you them, find out. Go, go ahead. Uh, they give them the biblical secrets when you go to in seminary school. Yeah. So you have the separation of people who know that they're going to have to manipulate a group of people. And you could do this for money or you could do this because you really feel like these teachings help better people. You can be right. one of the two. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Or you're on the other side, like, I can't be out here pushing this bullshit. And mm-hmm. so majority of them go that direction. Man, I ain't finna be out here pushing this shit. Like, I know it's, you know what I'm saying? I know it's flawed. I know it's phony, whatever, whatever. Yeah, that, that's why a lot of people that are more aware or conscious um, start becoming depressed because they see everything that's going on mm-hmm. and they they realize that nigga how fucked up the world is. Yeah. And so they that's they they have a moral compass. Yeah. That yeah. They, yeah. Won't, they won't go. It won't allow you to, to push it. Yeah. Right, right. And, and 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 so I mean I've heard that several times. The more you know, you know what I'm saying? Right. They, were, they have they have like a a, a yearly debate. I, I I forget the the specific details, but it's like all of these great minds, mm-hmm. they get together and they debate uh, the potential like uh, validity of religious um, ideas. Yeah. Hmm. Oh man, yeah, that that's that's uh, whew. yeah, I've, I, that's that's why it's it's is that's why they say ignorance is bliss, nigga. Oh, it, it is because <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. The, the more you don't know, the, I mean, I guess the better, better life become because, like, if you think about all the people that's wealthy and that's like filthy wealth. Mm-hmm. It's all jumping out some, of windows and shit. Right. They either, they either commit suicide doing crazy shit or there's always some evil side of them. Yeah. Right, yeah. Because they had to step on the motherfucking neck to get to where they got where they're going to. They Correct. had to Correct. You, you had to step on the poor, the neck of the poor, yeah. to get to that. Right. Uh-huh. All this all this shit coming out makes sense with Diddy and, You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, he, you reaching a you reaching a bill, nigga. You think it ain't no Cut those shit this nigga ain't been, yeah. been doing to stay on top, nigga. Mm-hmm. Cause you gotta keep doing shit to stay on top. You gonna have to keep on, cause cause you know too much. Yeah. And the, and the fact that you you know all these things, and a nigga the nigga want to keep his wealth, so he gonna do everything he can to keep that wealth. And them motherfuckers gonna play on you mm-hmm. because you up there with them now. Yeah. And like, oh, you were you you want to stay up here? Oh, this is what it's gonna take because it's other they these motherfuckers, it's other motherfuckers above you making the rules. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you gotta play right. by their rules if you wanna stay mm-hmm. in sure. that bracket. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So so right. nigga. That's why the Bible says that you can't serve God and money. Because I mean, look at it. These people that be so wealthy, right? Then they get to losing their wealth or or something like that. Then they jumping out of windows. They want to kill themselves because why? But then you got other countries, poor countries, who don't have nothing. That's the happiest people in the world. Yeah, you know? I, I right. swear to God, I was riding by um, what's it called downtown Skid Row. I was riding through Skid Row, and I was like, 
this is the most smilingest people yes. I've ever seen. Like I, I'm not saying that people who doing good aren't happy. Right, right. But when you ride through Calabasas, you don't see people smiling. No. They going through daily life. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I'm not saying they're not happy. Because they're big. Some their of my mind happiest is occupied. times occupied. when I didn't But have when you money. ride through Skid Row, nigga, they laughed. Huh, yes, like belly yes. laugh. Like, they happy. They, they help each other. You know why? They giving. Do you know why? They have freedom. Yeah, they, they have. They, have they don't have nothing to really that. worry no. about. The, the more you make, the more it take, or whatever. Yeah, the, when you just always got something on your mind, you really stress it too. Yeah, mm-hmm. when you us constantly on a mission, you constantly got shit to do, nigga. You can't. You don't, you got to make time to be happy, right? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I I learned about um, broke millionaires. A lot of people who get into these circles, they be like juggling their debt. Yeah, you know they don't have no real money. They're cash Peter poor. To pay Paul. They they yeah. cash poor. But they Living credit, on credit. Rich. but you mm-hmm. they credit rich and they like juggling the fuck out of their mm-hmm. finances, their business, trying to uh, uh, keep up with the Joneses and shit like that. A lot of the motherfuckers be actually fucking poor. Mm-hmm. Mm. They got the Bentley. They got the house. That's like these people in Hollywood. Nigga, I ain't gonna lie. They take like, one day off. It's over. Here, when I first moved out here, like. When I first started doing comedy like 10 years ago, I was in the same circles as these niggas, right? They just had the fame, but I had the money. Mm-hmm. I had the car. When I first moved out here uh-huh. and when I first started doing comedy, I was in the same circles with these niggas. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of big name motherfuckers that owe me money to this day. That, like I said, motherfuckers get rich because they left their wallet at home. You always leave your wallet at right. home. Yeah. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? You always out. You got the fame, but I got the money. Uh-huh. I got the car, so you need me to drive you to your next show. Uh-huh. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And so it's like, yeah, just because you got that car, you got this house, but is you working? Yeah, right. Or is you living off old? Or is you living off fame? Is there a surplus of cash at exactly. any point in time? Ever? Exactly, a lot of old money too. Right. You yeah. know what I'm saying it's a lot of old money. A lot of these celebrities' kids that's coming up. Yeah. That they don't. They got their daddy's fame, but they don't got necessarily got their daddy money yet. Right. I mean, you just now getting to a point with uh, entertainment, social media, where you can translate fame to money. Right. But it was a lot of motherfuckers when we was kids and coming up like, nigga, you could be famous as fuck, but poor than a bitch. Yeah. (laughs) You ain't making no money. I don't know, man. Because they they like, even like how they owe record labels and stuff like that, like they living off a lot of advances. Hmm. I don't know. It depends on how famous you is. In terms of? Michael Jackson could make money doing any fucking thing. Yeah, he was alive. Mm-hmm. Michael Jackson can call the mall and say, "Hey, I'm gonna walk through today. How much you're gonna pay me?" Yeah, and he right. could make money like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I think that's to me that's considered fame. Some <clears throat> still, some people are just popular. Mm-hmm. When so it, you, you you saying the the fame and the wealth should be tied together? Yes, I feel like that's fame true. and wealth is tied. I feel like when you're famous, you're wealthy along with it. But when you're not, you're just a popular person. Hmm. So, like, fame, so, like, fame you, even so you're like, saying like MC Hammer was just really popular. Well, he, he had he had wealth at one point. Yeah. And even like. Uh, but if you can trick it off and you still MC Hammer. Yeah, who? you can still. Remember so okay. that means you're not th- like to, to what you're saying. But 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 did he get his money? Did he did he get back? Did he money? bounce back? I don't, I don't know. I don't no, know if he bounced back. I don't know if yeah. Hammer ever. But, but was he TLC? able to bounce back? But if he wasn't able to bounce back, maybe he just. Because Tyson did, kind of. Yeah. Tyson like worth like two million or something now. Yeah, but that's because nowhere near like I said, compared fame, to fame. Should you should be able to leverage wealth with fame? You yeah. should. You should. Now, if you popular, I don't know. Mm, it's shaky. You know what I'm saying? But 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 like when you, when you fame fame is it means something. Your name means something. Mm, your name is value. Your name carries value. Okay. When your name carries value, then that's fame. I mean, that that's something dope to to uh, put to it. That'll be a yeah. They say yeah. he was worth two million at, at the peak of his career. Who? Hammer. Mm-hmm. 
Hamill was only worth two million. That's, that's, that's the one. That's the one that got somebody saying up. Hamill had four hundred million at his height. Ain't that the one Nigga, that four uh, hundred and yeah, two I is something. It was something crazy? Ain't that the one that got <laughs> hung over the banister by uh, you know, Suge Knight? Who right. Hamill? No, I think you talking about uh. Oh no, I ain't uh, no uh, Vanilla Ice. No, that's vanilla Ice. No, vanilla ice. Hamill, they said Hamill was gangster. Yeah, they said Hamill was. Gangster, nigga. He might like be back week. to two million or something. Right. They, uh, hey, they said Hammer was a gangster. Yeah, nigga. yeah. Well, really? They, they would say he was one of the most feared him. motherfuckers. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, They say he was damn no worse than Shu. He I went hear. through, he through seventy million in five years. Yeah, 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 man. Yeah, but man, yeah, that's what I, that's what I feel, man. I feel like you know, fame damn near yeah. tied the legend. You know what I mean? Twenty two, back to your shit, yo, you should be able to. So so like when when Pimp came home, everybody around him was uh trying to put him back uh in a situation where he was like financially secure. Mm -hmm. Would that be considered fame or is that just his name got va his name has value. Okay, so that's still his name having value as opposed to but him just being considered a real motherfucker and we fuck with you. It yeah. was his name was value. Yeah, he has he 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 has value. His characters is aside from that, like he like had Pimp both C of those. Is is something like when you hear Pimp C? Yeah, is nigga. Yeah, it's a brand. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> it's like oh nigga, that's that's Pimp. Right. You know, motherfucker call you nigga. If Pimp was still here, nigga. Pimp can go on tour right now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because nigga Pimp just had So it's obviously levels to fame But Pimp had the yeah. fame where his name was valuable Yeah Okay You know Well <sighs> it, was, it was more it, He was more popular in the south though But what I'm saying is He was able to come home And get put back Where he left off Because of His name It was more so, I, it was I, more so it was more so the resources. I, I backtrack. It was more so of the resources around him. Uh, the reason why he he wasn't a Michael Jackson or no, no, like that. No, but, no, no. but Pimp was like working his way towards being one of he's. But he was more the underground king. You know, he's, yeah. he's still, he's still yeah. Because I don't king. think he so would have ever this, cared to have. So it Michael depends Jackson on who you asking. Depend on who you asking. Um, and if you ask in, in the south, well, I'm trying to use your definition. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, trying to to compare like the amounts yeah. of of money or value that comes with your name, just the ability mm -hmm. to show your face, and that brings you uh, some type of he profit. Had fame in the South, yeah. Like, cause you know I, I feel like it's certain it was certain region, you can be region. I feel like you can be regionally famous because it's certain girls who right. can get paid to bring out their following to cl right. to clubs. Yeah. Uh, we we got what's the name? She pulling up. Okay, well she got ten thousand followers. We know at least five thousand of them will show up. Mm -hmm. Like you know what I'm saying? Like that's that they they face is worth something. They name is worth something. It's not a lot. Yeah, but it's more than what a lot of people can do when they but, pop but out. But can they call them all? And no, say, see, but you talking about levels. Yeah, you talking about you know different levels. Yeah, and yeah. then some of this should be temporary. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, right. Some of this shit just that's what so I'm the, you can be so the, you can still make money. So and the be popular. fame needs to come with uh financial value you can get rich and off longevity. Your name. No, you can get rich off your name. Okay. You could about Mike Mike can be broke yeah. today if he was still here. And get money, get enough money to get rich off his name. Mm -hmm. And that's From what I was thinking. Zero. That's what I was thinking when you were saying that. It's like you should be able to be rich off your name, but a lot of these famous people is just using their fame to get over on other people. Meaning they're like they go places, they money is not worth nothing. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? When you see them, you let me buy you a drink. Let me oh no, his tab on me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They could step out. They don't really gotta put no work in for mm -hmm. real because you know, for whatever reason, I mean, they should be paying their mortgages and stuff, but yeah, <laughs> <All right. Okay, laughs> so. houses and all type of things. So, uh, uh, Cash Me Outside girl, mm -hmm. she girl, do a she rich. do an episode of Doctor Phil. Mm -hmm. From there, within two three years, she's worth a hundred million. Hmm. Is that fame? Like, did she become famous on Doctor Phil? 
Her that name became valuable on Dr. Got, Phil. She got her stardom from Dr. Phil. I think she. Yeah. Uh, Dr. She, Phil is famous. She he became made, a meme. Yeah, he 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 made her popular enough to get to get enough bread. He made her but, popular but, enough to become famous. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. He 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 moved. Yeah. But do you think if she went back to Ground Zero that she could go back to 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 what she had? A uh, hundred million, something like that. You think if she went back to Ground Zero, she can get bounced back? I mean, she has she, she has the type of fight. I don't know where she at. I don't yeah, know. Where, that I don't. Girl I, is I don't. I don't really. I'm not. I'm not that familiar with her. She, she got has, a baby. She, she got a baby on the way right now. Like she, um, she got a big ass following, and she be having she like real drama feel. So people always be want to keep up. I would say with what she's if, doing. If, but she a hustler. If social media crashed and she went back to ground zero, no. Okay. Right, but as long as she still has her followers, what's well, so she? What well, she? Social media famous, yeah. Because it's a famous, right, right. famous changed right, also. She ain't no actress. Famous changed that. has changed also now with social media. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's 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 a little different. It's a little more tricky now. You know what I mean? You remember before then, nigga, you could be, you could be, you could be famous, but it took a lot. You know what I mean? It took a lot to be famous. You had to be in so many movies. You had to have so yeah. much. You had to have a real background of work. Right, right. Now, you can do all that Overnight. on social media and become social media famous. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's certain <laughs> They said uh, zero before or after Dr. Phil. If it's before Dr. Phil, then no, nah, she fried. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like nigga... Tupac, nigga, it, like when you can go overseas and motherfucker recognize you, a, a rat, you a, But Pac died poor though. Hmm? Pac died poor though. Pac died poor. That's what I'm they like, say. Did he? What they say? Tupac died poor, right? That's I what, ain't. I don't know. That's what about they used that. to say in all the documentaries. Like the nigga was driving like a, a old truck and shit, like. Oh no! Oh, they heard. Who that. knows? I mean, remember he did diss all the labels, and he had yeah. He wasn't like signed. But to, that, that don't change his value neither, though. If, if if the nigga was fucking his money up, he was fucking his no, money. I don't but think he, he was. I think his contract was fucked up. I don't think uh, he was getting paid with it. Like Tony Braxton, TLC, and them. Like, exactly. They and was famous, the but they contract. A lot of these people up. don't be rich. They be famous, but they don't be rich because they contract be messed right, up. Right. Right. Cause if TLC they them had not true, I never heard that they they never heard Tupac was poor. Well, I I used to hear it all the time on documentaries. Is I don't he know even dead. Damn. <laughs> but if TLC <laughs> if TLC that. them had <laughs> social media the way we do home. now, they wouldn't have had the same problems. They wouldn't have been. Their contracts could have still been fucked up, but they would have been able to leverage money from social media because they was shit the the one of the biggest R and B groups. Yeah, right. absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely, Drake is famous as fuck. Dre or Drake? Drake. Yeah, Drake is famous as fuck. You know the difference between him and no. Uh, Drake can buy a bitch a Bugatti and recoup the funds from the video he makes posting it. that. <laughs> that part. <laughs> that part. Everything he does yeah. turn to gold. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Everything that nigga does. Ex except the Drake curse. If Drake bet on you, you go lose. Everything oh, he bets on, on fail. They call it the Drake curse. Oh, uh, you talking about uh, sports. Yeah, sports. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But 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 that nigga is like that nigga is real deal famous. Like anything anything he buy, nigga is money. Anything. Anything that he's affiliated with. Yeah. Money. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's the way I You said he in Jamaica working the coconuts then. <laughs> yeah. I didn't see him when I was over there. Drake is famous, but you saw the billionaire didn't know his name. I wouldn't give a fuck if one person didn't know my name. I don't give a fuck who they is. But that was that's funny because that's billions what me that and, know uh, his name. That's what me and my dad was talking about when he was talking about that girl who was saying, like, you know, some people don't even talk about that. Like, it's a lot of people that don't be knowing these people. But you yeah. got to think about just like you were just saying about the billionaires. They don't watch social media. They be about they bag. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. This just like you just saying about the billionaires. Right. Being that they're not in, they're, they're not hyper focused. Yeah, they're they're not they're not entertainment is, is probably not It's beneath them. It's yeah. low brow. Exactly. Entertain you know I mean? entertainers are poor to them. Yeah. 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 Hell yeah. Uh 
All right. Uh, so the, the testicle of removal. <laughs> what I, this you? conversation came from that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what the like fuck? <laughs> all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. The we movie. All over the place. <laughs> uh, 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 you in there uh, playing song with your damn self? Would you like to play a game, stupid ass little boy? Sit your country ass down, man. Ain't no way I'm cutting my nuts off. They gonna have to fall off. I don't give a fuck what color they turning. <laughs> I don't care never. what color they turning. Is, is this part okay? At the time of his death, Shakur had very few assets. He had less than a hundred and five thousand in his account, two cars, and a five figure life insurance policy in his half sister's name. Despite selling sixty million records and scoring several hits, he was actually in severe debt at the time of his death. Owing an estimated four point nine million. Shit, it made sense for him to die. I would have faked my shit too. Don't say that. I would have faked my faith. Hey, somebody, I'm calling somebody. Hey, man, he might not have put his money in the bank. Hey, somebody kill me real quick, nigga. I owe five million. That's why Diddy did what he did and orchestrated all that. He said Diddy was looking out. I got you, my boy. They was worth more dead than alive, which is terrible. Don't say that. It's it's horrible. I mean, I, I people don't I give your flowers though. until you die. It's right. like, it's like I promise you, I get no, I get no like real support. But I promise you, if anything was to happen but, to me, but, but you got here to... come everybody. You inspire me. Yeah, I loved right. you. I've been watching. I've been, that, that. I don't know now. But why you, you ain't to... tell me that before? Correct. Pop Correct. became more famous after death, though. Of course, and it's it sad because people way only respect famous. you after you gone. Yeah, yeah. Pac, Pac's not. Yeah, yeah. He's he's um. Um, if you think about that, like, yeah, he was one of the, him and Biggie was like the top rappers, but they was only like famous for like, a, there was a very short period. I mean, there was life, like, the nigga was 25. Yeah. That was like, that was like a very short period. So like, bro, he's um, a kid to us now. Yeah. We grew up idolizing somebody that's died when, as a kid. Yeah. For real. You don't realize how, <laughs> how young people really was until you surpassed them in age. Man, I be feeling old as fuck sometimes. Yeah, bro, you telling me some motherfuckers would be old. Like, 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 how old is uh, Young Miami? Oh yeah, right in her twenties, like. 20s. Oh, I'm like, hey man, this bitch got to be my age. Young. Y'all look at that blood. This bitch, <laughs> Young Miami, got to be my age, nigga. I'm I like, no, nah, she ain't. Nigga, fuck, nigga, Drake only got us by a year. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Drake age like a motherfucker. Hell yeah. And that just go to show. It was somebody be, that fucked me up. Be for consistent real. and put in the uh, work because it ain't no way this nigga this rich and he our age. <laughs> Man, we could we could be that too. Man, I'm I'd be you. confused to have niggas so goddamn tall. Like you, nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> damn, what you eat in your nineteen years that I didn't eat in thirty six? It's the genes. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, Florida rapper a uh, ride wave was arrested in Florida for possession of a firearm. Now he we went and changed and said he wasn't no convicted felon. But I, uh, I'm so sick of you niggas. I, why, why you? If I'm when when I get to a certain level of a of, of bread, dog, mm-hmm. a paper, I ain't keeping that tool on me. If no, especially if I can't, you know what I'm saying? Like it's like I'm only gonna keep it with when I need it, like right. right, or when I'm able to carry that motherfucker. When I'm legally able to carry it, right. otherwise somebody else around me gonna have that motherfucker with me. But man, y'all, y'all gotta stop going to jail for stupid. Motherfucker shit. don't like doing shit the right way, anyways. Because I feel like they're going to allow you to carry the firearm once you are worth a certain amount of money. Yeah, like I, f- I think that's one of the main reasons that five uh, percent tent ain't illegal here. Because Drake can't ride through this motherfucker with no tent on his car. Yeah, nigga, to be calamity in the streets. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, niggas is 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 too so enthr- it ain't illegal. Or it ain't illegal. It it, it isn't it is, illegal. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Like right. you can have your tent as dark as the fuck you want yeah. here, mm. nigga, because it would be chaos yeah, if you could. People, yeah. Yeah. You have to. Yeah. My tent is dark as hell, and I'm I'm glad I had Arizona plates because uh, other than that, like I would have been getting pulled over in uh, in Chicago because you can't have a tent that dark. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, but 
Yeah. Personally, whenever Rod Wave come on, I tell them, turn this fat fucking depressed bastard off. Okay? <laughs> I am so tired of his ass crying on the track. Man, and it always be about some shit he didn't did. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga steady this nigga push. crying about self-inflicted <laughs> Literally. I shouldn't have robbed Literally. them niggas yesterday. Literally. <laughs> now they back with them pistols in my face. You seen, a, uh, <laughs> you seen that one, it was this one video of a girl had out of him. He was cheating on his baby mom, and she went live. And then he had stepped into the camera and realized the camera was on. He was like, what the hell? You know what I'm saying? But then, it, basically, he had got outed. And I'm like, this nigga sitting here. He got outed for what? Cheating. cheating. Okay. This nigga sitting here making all this depressed music about how don't nobody love him and all this stuff. And you cheat. And you out here <laughs> cheating. And then you coming and making this depressed-ass music. <laughs> Like yeah. I'm, t- I'm tired of this nigga. This okay, shit. that's his Damn. last straw with Re- me. Ass. Diana Ross. Right, that's what that's what somebody said. A lot of people been saying that forever. What's what's her name? It was the girl from uh, Girlfriends. Mm-hmm. Or well, she played on she she real famous. Madonna. What's her name? Uh, uh, Stacy Ross. I don't no, know. no, Tracy. 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 Tracy, Tracy, Ellis Ellis Ross. Ross. Tracy Ellis Ross. Tracy Ellis Ross. Yeah. Yeah. I get that a lot. It's the eyes. It's the yeah. eyes. Yeah. I, I think the most common sense thing you could do that we clown niggas for doing, which is goofy as fuck, is having police and security. Right. A nigga with the with the right to pop your ass and walk away. Right. Nigga, right. that is the smartest thing you can do. 50 got an army. You feel right. me? Right. 50 got that military the motherfuckers. That's the smartest thing you can do. I think he got military motherfuckers that be with, uh, with him and shit. Because uh, what you call them talking about they try to run up on him? Uh, right. Whack 100. He told this story. You heard that? He tried to run up on it like he, he said. My L's been revoked since 2018. That's that Chicago shit right there. Yeah, he's he's seen them. Uh, said you ain't gonna revoke this engine. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, he's seen them and and, and uh, you know he tried to flex with try to uh, flex with him uh, with 50, and and you know he thought he was by himself. He said nigga, they start walking up on him, nigga, and and, and nigga motherfuckers came out of nowhere, nigga. <laughs> Like, what's up? Y'all got a problem, nigga? Because yeah. he thought he was finna be on some hood nigga shit. Nigga. Be careful who you mess nigga, with. That nigga, and that nigga 50, they said 50 turned around and looked at him and laughed. <laughs> and nigga kept walking. Nigga. Right. Hey, nigga, that's, nigga, you think I ain't gonna be that? What? Bro, that's, because yeah. this, this how goofy you is. I love you, you my dog. I'm gonna put the pistol in your hand, that's goofy too. Yeah. yeah. Now I got to watch you go sit down because right. some niggas hating on me. Man. Bro, that's Man. retarded. Man. Like, we can Man. hire motherfuckers who are allowed to lay your ass down. We right. all get the walk off and go on about the rest of our day. Right. Man. Right. But like you were saying, people be so focused on putting their money somewhere else. Like, they want a chain. You know what I'm saying? They got these $100,000 mm-hmm. chains with no security. Man, listen. They, I'm going to just think, carry my own gun. I guess they think that gun. motherfucker going to shoot bullets. With <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Oh, uh, uh, nigga, we're at 297. Uh, three more likes, nigga. Get that to that 300, man. Y'all even tap that like button while we on here. That's why we ain't been in the algorithm that much, man. Y'all know you got to Who is Mike likes Jack? Up. Put him Michael on the Jackson. screen. Oh, Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> they say illegitimate kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You look like Mike illegitimate kids. <laughs> y'all is terrible. Yeah, yeah, man. Y'all make sure y'all, y'all get us up in the algorithm, man. You know what I'm talking about? Tap that like button for, you, for your boys, man. You know what I'm talking about? And your ladies, man, you know what I'm saying? Tap that, <laughs> tap that like button, man. Get us up in there. Yeah, hell yeah. There you go. There you go. Oh, uh, all right. So, uh, Rod Wave, man. Hey, man. Come on now. Don't be no goddamn fool like him. Don't be no fool, man. Sit your country ass down, man. Sit your country ass down, man. I quit that. You can't, you can't be doing that Goofy shit. Goofy shit. Nigga, when Wayne went to prison, they found a, a, the pistol on his private jet. Man, My your private is, jet? What you, uh, <laughs> what you you thought the air was gonna attack man. you, nigga? You go man. have a shootout with the air? <laughs> man, listen, man. All right, um, uh, what you say, Mo? Yeah, uh, she talking about who the RP to? Yeah, okay. RP to take off. That take off will probably still be here if they would have had real security. Man. man, hey. Okay, this shit go. This shit right. Uh, uh, uh crazy. Uh, well, we, we knew this, though. Cass is reportedly cooperating with the feds and did his sex trafficking case. Do you know how mad I'd be if I done gave this bitch 30 million or whatever the and amount I gave? With them. And she still with We supposed to be signing. He should have been doing a contract. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, you should have been like, hey, man, I'm going to give you this 30, but you can't take nothing, do nothing, nothing if these folk come for me. You you give a motherfucker the money. He was so thirsty money. because he thought that that money was just finna shut it up and it was going to go away. Yeah. You, you gave her the money to buy your to buy the gun that she going to kill you with. Man, listen. That's crazy. Yeah. That's a cold game. But that's why you can't be out here bullshit. Yeah, this nigga did not pay his uh his Illuminati fee. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay. laughs> what what, hey boy, what happened? It is over. Them folks up top say cut him off. We tired of looking at this nigga and not being a, he do too much. A freaky man. He, <laughs> hey, like this nigga do too much. Yeah. He having these freaky parties and all this shit. Yeah. Man, hey, cut him off. Don't the folks up top say, hey, he giving us too much. He getting too much attention towards us. Cut him off. Yeah. Cut him water off. They, they, they said, how much money he got? Yeah. Take that. Take right. that. Yeah. <laughs> you know I, mean? yeah. I seen this one post and it really made me think because it was just like, why is Dan Schneider not running like Diddy is? Yeah. Well, they, they trying to say that he didn't commit those actions. That he was just inappropriate. Being, yeah, he was being. But what about the what about the pedophiles that was I, on there and the then pick, the the uh, was pick some Josh pick? pick yeah Peck yeah no Drake uh, Drake Bell no no you're right no, it was Bell Brian was Peck got, uh, which I'm like is Josh Peck and Brian Peck related? Yeah, uh, who I, I, the fuck yeah. is Brian Peck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brian, Brian Peck is, is the one that did it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, he the one that had abused Drake Bell. Yeah. You know, and it's just like he... Like, These niggas made a TV show of they shit. I <laughs> mean, it's, it's that's a crazy. Cold, that's a cold game. They made, they made a TV show about R. Kelly too, but that nigga was locked up. They, they, they made, that nigga was locked up. They made yeah. that shit... The, but they, these motherfuckers made the, the shit, and they was on there. He when they he, on there, he did a foul. Yeah, <laughs> when he on the on the, on the uh, documentary, the damn dude. He ended That's up coming crazy. out with his own. But here go the worst part. He came out with his own, and he had his interviewer ask him questions that he wanted to be asked. He should have went on twenty twenty, and let one of them ask the questions that we really wanted to know. You know right. what I'm saying? And. And all this Diddy news, like, it's like every day something else is coming out about Diddy. And to me, first of all, I'm getting tired of it. I'm like, he he's done a lot. We know I can we can't even keep up at this point. But a lot of people don't know that the U.S. been taunting Russia, been driving up to they, been flying up to their airlines and then uh, like they they border lines and mm -hmm. then right a mile away they turn around they they got the submarines underwater they acting like they finna attack they getting mm -hmm. people in position then they turn around and coming back R Russia is so tired of them first of all they released the black Jesus paintings yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> then they came and met at the Red Sea they brought their battleships out. We is so focused on what Diddy doing because when you go on, on you, your YouTube now, that's the only thing that's trending. Right. Dan Schneider and Diddy. Right. Well, that we and can't they, even and they focus covering on up Epstein. what's God, really going, going on. on. We, yeah. we ain't and locking up Epstein, like folks. What's going on. That's what I'm saying. They let this man, this man Epstein has so much on everybody. They said, look, let let's this nigga out. Up. You know what I'm saying? Who else popping? I don't think he died. Did he? Let, let's fry his ass. I don't think Epstein killed himself for real. Come on now. Did you see the pictures of him? Then they released the pictures. Right. Like, that man ain't dead. He has something on everybody. Hmm. Everybody. He did exactly what, uh, see, Diddy did it wrong. <laughs> he was supposed to have everybody on camera doing stuff, but not with him. Oh, yeah. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> His freaky self wanted to be in the video too. Yeah. So now that's why they finna get him. Yeah, Epstein hey, had hey, everybody. Suge Knight doing told stuff us back with... in the day if, if you're tired of the producer being all in the video, come on over here to Death Row. Man. <laughs> man <laughs> who who would have known that Diddy was really Death Row? Ain't it crazy? That's hilarious. That all the lyrics and things is starting to make sense. Even the take that, take that. Yeah, <laughs> you, know, you can't listen to Diddy music no more without really hearing. Man, he was he took what it, he was really I'm, saying. I'm telling you where it came from. That nigga was in there fucking with a, for, with a boy. Take that, take that, take yeah. that. Yeah, that, that's what that's his that's his that's probably his call, his main call right there. Uh -huh. Yeah, take that, take that, take that, take uh -huh. that. Yeah, he, he probably a rape of man. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
Oh, right, he was yeah. all. And then there's this one video that Wayne, that with Wayne and Diddy in it, and Diddy tell Wayne, "Oh, <laughs> you seen that?" He said, "What what advice you got for the people that's trying to come up?" Yeah, but they they were going, they were, they they kind of uh, uh, talked over the. They didn't some of the stuff they didn't say. You can look at their mouth today. That ain't what they said. It's not. It looked mm. like look that. At it. Go said. look at it again. He it's said, not "If you don't want nobody dancing in your video," <laughs> <laughs> he yeah. said, "The astronaut." <laughs> yeah, uh, so, uh, man, well, you done fucked up, boy. You done fucked up. You done pissed some folks off. Uh, uh, and, and, and so he's and, still and, running, huh? And uh, they ain't got him yet. No, no, they peer, they build in the case. Yeah, motherfuckers acting like it, like, like, like they just jumped out for nothing, right? Yeah, that they, they acting like, they acting like, because people like, see y'all all talking all that shit, because they ain't even have you think. Them folks do? Yeah. Oh, you out your goddamn mind? The federal government got a 97% conviction rate. Homeland Security. 97%? 97%. Something in my spirit tell me that Cassie's husband was behind <laughs> having her no motherfucking diddy. To expose Wait till I drop this motherfucking taste. What him. happened? Because her life is so messed up. With all the PTSD and everything that she oh, go boy. through, you know what I I'm saying? Like that he probably that. like, you got to go after this man. Because first like of all, who that. wants to? Because he, he white, ain't he? Yeah. Yeah. I think I, I, think I even heard that. I never they, heard that, they, but they my spirit that. just be telling me right. like. Yeah, you so childish. Pump yeah. daddy, what's good? Get your ass out of here, dog. Just, it's something in my spirit <laughs> just tell me like, he got, he got something to do with it. Her life is so messed up. She probably... Got drug dependency, you know what I'm saying? Need a drink, probably can't even have sex regular. Right. You know, yeah. it's so many things. I mean, I personally feel like he saved Man, when her you sell your from soul Diddy. for money, you are not allowed to come back with uh with remorse. <laughs> you stupid. Yeah, bruh, it's, it's so, so so wait, wait, wait. But if they do it the opposite way, then they can. What's the opposite way? If they if if they uh if she's Got, got revenge on it. And then she said... She if she got him. revenge? Yeah, like he got him locked up. Mm -hmm. That's what you're referring to, right? No, well, I'm saying like it, the reason why she, she chose to do her everything that she was to, doing because she was in a, a privileged position. Right, right. She was going to re reap all the benefits from doing she was what he asked her. Was, was, was she real young or something? When it, I mean, she was probably young. She wasn't underage. When I, well... Like I assume. 17, I, I assume when we we got introduced to Cassie, because I still can't oh, yeah, recognize Cassie. Like I feel like or, she was like yeah, seventeen. Was I still like can't really recognize Cassie. I don't really but know what she looked she like. Diddy then? Okay. She, okay. okay. Yeah, I, I really can't recognize her like that. But that yeah, like, I remember they was talking about she was young though. But when when mm. when it sounds so good to you, you willing to do anything for it, and then when the well dry up, you like. All right, it's time for you to go to jail. Nigga, that's crazy. But a lot of times, too, <laughs> see, the, the the whole problem is that they was drug, they was being drugged. Yeah. You was, know, even how they say, boy, like, when you like sober Beyonce up, leave. is drugged, you know, by Jason. I don't like know what I did last that. night. This was my last night here. Uh, <laughs> it's such thing as, as kidnapping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when you got money you like keep, him, you when you got money like him, you keep a motherfucker uh, 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 intoxicated. You know yeah. what I'm saying? To, to the point because that's what she said. What she said she was that's intoxicated said, for the last twenty years. She, she said, said she, she was, was always drugged. fucked up. Yeah, drugged. she was. She was being she drugged was twenty years straight. She been hiding a bitch. Nigga, it didn't start probably at the first. Yeah, if probably you, not. You know, straight. he didn't do it right when he mm. first started. Yeah, you know, and he probably didn't need drugs yeah. the whole if, time. If, if she were high for 20 years straight and still got her mental faculties, that is a strong minded bitch. But see, if you we, do we haven't so heard long. from her, though. See, we don't know. That's why I'm saying well, I feel like her husband is like, she's so messed up. We need to go after I feel this like man. If you do it for so her long. husband uh, married a vulnerable adult. I think he saved her. Remember, he was the person. He was her personal he, trainer. He married he a vulnerable adult. Trainer. I feel like he, if I you, think he if saved. You him. I mean, you can't talking, have it both ways. Yeah, you you can't you can't have it both ways. Her. If she was fucked up, 
he married a vulnerable adult. And he probably thought that he could fix her, save her, which he did save her from this man. So you're saying, yes, he married a vulnerable adult. Yeah, but nigga, everybody vulnerable. Everybody. I was about to say, I feel like... Everybody guess. Right. Everybody's everybody vulnerable. Some type of history. Like, what are you talking like, about? Got got nigga, that's, we you talking about two different things, nigga. This is... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking she was about? We're talking about two different things. I mean, I mean, remember, because he was whooping her, too. Like, he was beating her. Did he? Yeah. Okay. So when she was going to her personal trainer I mean, with that with her black eye, it. you she know what I'm saying? Yeah. Was talking about it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A motherfucker. A motherfucker. And he fell for. Yeah. Right. You exactly. You fell for the yeah. vulnerable adult. You minimizing mm-hmm. a motherfucker with money adult. and influence. It's a reason motherfucker ain't told on Diddy oh, for this. Not long. it. He said he got a doctor. A motherfucker with right. a motherfucker <laughs> with a certain amount of money and influence can stop you from making. Cass is complicit. A motherfucker, a motherfucker with some money and influence can stop you from making decisions you want. If you yeah. decide you want to leave, no, you can't. Yeah. yeah. And that's and that. And plenty of motherfuckers said it. It's been plenty of motherfuckers that said that they can't, they couldn't speak up, speak against him for a particular reason. Yeah. If he wanted something, or he wanted you. And you was you start dealing with him like you, you don't see motherfuckers then deal with, dealt with a motherfucker for a minute and then they see a different side of that person and then they end up not being able to leave. Yeah, like, me personally, like shoot, we, when we, I was with my kids, dad, like, we gotta stop acting like. And she was right. nineteen. You can't. And she was yeah. nineteen. Yeah, of course, she don't fear him. It's a yeah. it's a it's a man right. that she had that that was she was under his tutelage, tutelage and. He he has influence. He has money. He, she done been around him. She's seen his influence. She see. I'm sure he 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 made uh, great demonstrations of of his of his power and influence yeah. and threatened her. Like, yeah, he had the little African. Somebody nigga. said he was she should have got yes. him locked up. Well, listen to this. She's working with the feds on this case. She is getting him locked up. That and was then, just the first step to exposing him. But see, this man got power. People don't be realizing. It, 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 took, is, some it took a while for her to put a move in motion. Yeah, some people is yeah, above yeah, you the gotta, police. You, move. you can't just move food. You can You see what happened to his other uh, uh, right, girl? Kim the Porter. Wife. Yeah, she did. She probably was trying to do that. She was. Yeah. She was about to release that exactly. book. Exactly. The book then came up so, missing, and she did. So, 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 so knowing up. this, yeah. so knowing this, knowing that this girl that he had as a yeah. girlfriend for a long time. Knowing that she died out of nowhere and she was about to reveal, would you go turn this nigga in? So is the yeah, current girlfriend, was it JT or Miami? Yeah, Miami. Which one, Miami? Is, is is she saying she going, anything? She's going down too, though, now. She, because now she's, she's, a, she's an accomplice. Yeah, she's going down too now. And but what, but, what, but what, the worst part about it is... Why she eligible to be a victim she is a, a she I mean, is why is not she eligible to be a victim? I don't know. Not yet, because she's not coming out and she? saying yeah, you, he you did. Yeah, she's going down, too. That yeah. girl 30. She 30. Okay, so. Well, she, it's not so much age. It's about the fact that she haven't come out and said, he did this to me, he did that to me. I was, do, I was you know what I'm saying? She, she's enjoying her. She's, she's actually participating in right, this shit. Like, right, right, So right. Cassie wasn't able to enjoy it because she was 19. No, no, no. She... After a while, was not enjoying it. But they say that JT going through the same. Why you like you don't know the difference between a victim? They, and a, they say JT going through the same thing. Right, they right. said JT going through the same thing. You know what I'm saying? I mean, sometimes it, it, if you it just, get beat it just up, if you get like beat we're, up by we're a nigga with like Diddy, first of all, look at his ass. Look at that man face. Imagine him he's, on a crack beat. He's not beating her up, nigga. <laughs> what are you talking about? Imagine why why do you think acting like you don't know the difference between a victim? I don't. I never saw any of these women get beat up. Cause we don't see Nigga, it, but it happens. They're revealing it now. Are yeah. you paying attention yeah. to what's going on? So I'm. That's why I'm asking questions. How am I gonna learn anything without questions? Yeah, and see what he what like how um Miami going down now is because she was helping recruit, well, recruit women, mm-hmm. and yeah, and you I, know I, what I thought saying? Cassie was too. He was doing it. He was ordering niggas. His yeah, he was kind of ordering it his his stuff. She probably was doing it too as well yeah, at it, one it, point, it, but she didn't want to no more. And she was trying to escape him, but he kept coming back to get her. And like that was like one time she tried. She escaped him. He found her and then sexually abused her. 
Mm-hmm. And he was and he was fucking up niggas that was trying to get at him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was running he so was you, running people. So you off. can't go nowhere and niggas that try to fuck with you, I'm fucking them this up too. This man look like he beat bitches like Ike Turner. Uh uh-uh. uh. He look like a dog. He, I mean, look at the. Yeah, he, like this A-Dog. man is soulless, you know. But here go the thing about Diddy is that people don't realize that this man was hurt too. Remember, his handler was Clive Davis. Mm-hmm. Clive yeah. Davis got yeah, a, a very extensive um, history and and being a groomer as well. Clive Davis. Mm. It put Diddy on. Diddy didn't just start doing this stuff. He was talking because Diddy stuff. got he bad boy at things. 24. Yeah, he learned these things. That was mm. given to him for all the things that he had went through. Grooming is a thing, dog. And we we not gonna we not gonna take away that. Like like people with young minds, bro, are easily manipulated in the beginning. First, first of all, now if 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 somebody sways you Chat in a. with money. If somebody sways you in with money and, and 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 get you to enjoy this this particular life, right? And you know you, he's a Chad is acting ignorant, abuse is not going to abuse him. That's a she. <laughs> That's, Respect her she. pronoun. <laughs> uh, if if they they you know come in and of course the money going to sell you over in the beginning, right? Mm-hmm. Now. You're you're being drugged up constantly, you're being abused and shit. Now you become a victim just because you're still tied to that person. Mm-hmm. Doesn't mean that you're a, a, an accomplice in that in that shit. You still so you're we, a victim of a, 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 a monk. Go ahead. So are we talking about Diddy being a victim of Clive, or no. he's he's Vic, he he created his own shit. He created his own shit. How how so? Because he, what you mean? He got his own shit. He, he started as a no victim. More. He ain't under. So once, once Clive once you, didn't have a direct hand in uh, his his movement. Once he started moving autonomously, you, you, is, you, you your own now monster. his own monster, and right. his ability to be a victim is is long gone at this no, point. Because it, 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 that's dead now. Okay. That's dead now. You, you yeah, so okay. <laughs> you, you chose that because it's other people that could have. A, there's other people that 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 have a conscience, and they do realize that this there's something fucked up about this, and they go a totally opposite way. Some people react a certain way. Some people people react another way. So, you you made those choices. So it's like is well, Terry Crews like one of the people who saw that something was fucked up and went a different way. He, he I would, oh, he's only story? a victim. Some somebody grabbed his pee pee. Okay, what's, so so what? What you mean? He, he, I don't I don't know how far the story went, but it seemed like he stayed in Hollywood and kept acting. I don't know. That ain't the same thing. No, well, R. Kelly was a, a victim, hmm? and he but he chose to keep. No, going. but he, right. to what Marcus is saying, R. Kelly got the ability to start victimizing others, and that's where it became. That that's where he became a monster in his own right. What's the what's the Mama brought up R. Kelly? He, so I was, with, he with, did. With, with, hmm? He did. What's the correlation with with um, Terry Crews? Oh, I was I'm trying to find an example of somebody who saw the wrong and then went a different way. Yeah, but what Cruz did that was just feeling. Yeah, that's he just different rubbed than, than, than anybody else. You know, he went. Like he went through. under his. But I'm, but I, I don't know. I'm trying to find an example of somebody who he saw the a, wrong, uh, saw the bad, a, and, oh, and, no. and 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 took a moral upright route instead of feeding into the culture. Right. We don't yeah, have an example that. of that. Well, story. He, no. that was that wasn't really. Yeah, that, he just a, a mobile sexual harassed him. That's all that was. That yeah. wasn't really. Uh, you know, unless he has a different examples of something happening and, and, and to where he, uh, you know, he was. He, I, I I like to think that majority of these people involved are opportunists. That that sounds quite accurate to me. But well, well, everybody that come in into a situation where it's already established, and they're coming because of the name of that person or the the status of that person are are opportunists. Yeah, but that don't take away from them being a victim. 
I mean, we're just creating a, a culture of people able to lean on this victim complex. How is it, how, how, if somebody is beating you up and abusing you, mm-hmm. how does that not make you a victim? If they're, if they're stopping you from, if they're using their power and their influence to stop you from moving and, and, and getting away from them and freeing, freeing, freeing yourself away from them, and they're even threatening people that's trying to help you, how is that not a victim? Let me allow me to move the goalpost a little bit. He's a, he's if, a victim chamber. Yeah, this nigga's a victim here chamber. Let me if you are, here they go. If you are on a slave ship, if we're to believe the whole slave ship thing, right? And you're seeing the abuse, you're seeing the rape, you're seeing your wife, your kids, all of this uh, horrific shit. Are you one of the slaves who would have survived the trek to America, or are you one of the ones who would have jumped and swam with the sharks? I can't answer that because mm-hmm. I don't know myself in that position. Well, I'm know. I'm asking well, your opinion right some, now. Well, some people do, uh, don't, you know, don't be a victim. They, I mean, well, they're a victim anyway, but they don't do the same thing that right. their abuser did. Some people, right. some people well, get I'm, out of what it. I'm saying is and when when Kanye said it up. was a choice. People jump down his throat for saying slavery was a choice. And so I'm, I'm thinking about the men who made the decision to die rather than uh, continue going through the bullshit. Right, because I always felt like I would have been in the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like I would have poisoned some food or something. But at the same time, it's like people be controlled by fear. Fear, your, fear is a fear is exactly. a huge your factor. Family's, your family's in danger. Fear yeah. is a huge factor that still exists today. You know what I'm saying? Some people like I, I feel like I haven't succeeded because of my fear. Like, I'm, am I scared being, of success being the man or what? That I know you to be. Mm-hmm. I, I believe wholeheartedly that we would have been the Nat Turners of this time, mm-hmm. and we would have been hunted down and and some horrific shit done to us for our rebellious ways. Okay. That's that's my idea. Oh, okay. So so how, so how am I connecting these things? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're we're talking about people who are choosing um to benefit off of a situation that's not as favorable to them as they like. And then when the shit hits the fan, they have the ability to say, well, I was victimized. But everybody is not mentally able to get out of it. Everybody, everybody mental is not the same. Some people is being controlled by fear. They chose. And to you saying benefiting off chose, of it because you, you said they're less of a person because they chose. I'm, they not, chose I'm, them, I'm, or, I'm not judging them. I'm talking about the ability to extend. They're less, of a, they're, less the, of a, they're not really a victim because they didn't choose death. Because in, 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 in the situation you're speaking about, you're talking mm-hmm. about slavery. Yeah, yeah. So you said those slaves were no longer a victim because they chose not to get themselves killed. Whatever name you choose to give them, it is what it is. I'm saying there's there's different types of personalities and mentalities. You could be the, um, what, what's the underground tunnel lady? Harriet Tubman. Harriet you can be a Harriet Tubman. Right. You can be a Nat Turner. Or you can be a, 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 a goddamn, you know, a, a, a successful slave. God damn it. Right, right. <laughs> okay. But it's funny because you said benefiting. So those slaves that chose to be, because um, there's a difference, you know, with different levels of slaves. It was slaves in the field. Mm-hmm. It was slaves that were uh, overseers. It was slaves that was house niggas. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The ones you're speaking about and you're trying to compare it to are overseers. Now, those are the ones that took the took what what happened to them and then applied it to other to other slaves. Those other slaves are just just the ones that are is happening to. They're not they're not doing it to somebody else. They're surviving. They're trying to keep. They just want to. Survive. They're choosing life over death. They're choosing life over death. Mm-hmm. In her case, and, and no matter how horrific the life is, yeah. right. it's right. it's understandable that you choose life because they over see, death because they had hope mm-hmm. and 
that things would change. One day it would get better. And sometimes but, you yeah. don't see a way out. And, you right. Either saying? you don't see a way. So, so or, you, or you fight till you die like the natives did. Yeah, everybody's okay. not gonna do that. You you some fight people, till you some die. Some people are controlled yeah, that, by that's, fear. That's but what, if you're, if you're drugged that, up, that's what have an integrity looks like. You you, you do you what the drugged, natives did. If you're drugged up, you're that that's gonna influence you all. That's why a lot of people drug people that when when they're doing sex trafficking, mm -hmm. they drug young girls. Mm -hmm. young, so they don't even know what's going on yeah, a, yeah, a yeah, lot yeah, of yeah. the time. If you if you're familiar with what Diddy has said or what Diddy does. A lot of his Y'all ain't parties, never drank Ciroc. Yeah. A lot I of his, stopped drinking that stuff because, listen, you drink some Ciroc and you be ready to do whatever. It's something in that drink. When I first drank it, I remember I had morals. Mm -hmm. As soon as the Ciroc got the kicking in, it was like, I could do whatever. Yeah. And I knew from that day, I'm like, I that's, don't trust your, this that's drink. Your, like, that's your drink you like. Ain't Hell you like no. Vodka, don't you? No, tequila. Oh, okay. I thought yeah, okay. no. No. But yeah, no, I used to. Um, yeah, I but, used to. But once I drank Ciroc, and it's something to that drink too. Remember, that's Diddy's drink. But see, that's what I'm saying. Like he he gives he gives you shit to to influence your decisions. You know what I'm saying? If 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 a motherfucker is drugged up, they're going to make they they not even there most of the time. If you keep somebody constantly drugged up, they ain't there. Their mind and, and, and their mental is 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 somewhere totally different. So why? And because and they, they and, call it a mood and altering because, chemical for no, a reason. Yeah, and because of what they're going through, they probably wanted wanted the drugs. And just forget about they it. They got them freaky chat. What they going through, man? You but but I I just I'm not I'm not one to limit the abuse, like like I'm not I'm not one to say because that's that that's if you gonna say that then you saying them slaves deserve what they got because they wanted to survive they wanted to see see it through they they believed that it was a change was gonna come you know what i, I mean i mean that's a a foolish approach to anything blind faith that's just religion all over again but without uh um, no no that's what, not what, is it blind though because yeah no it's not you have no reason to believe that this salvation is coming unless you create it slavery ended didn't it? Kinda. But I'm saying the the niggas the, who the, came the out of slavery had damn near a harder time than the motherfuckers who was in but it. The, but the, the actual year. the actual act of slavery, the physical part of slavery ended. Yeah, because we could smack a white woman today. It ended. <laughs> you know what so I'm saying? that hope and change because nothing lasts forever. You could smack a white woman back then too. But, but they would have hung the whole village trying to get to you. Nothing lasts. Nothing lasts. <laughs> and they will do that now. But, but but just 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 <laughs> common sense knows some realize you realize that nothing lasts forever. You see what happened when somebody slapped something. Nothing right. lasts forever. Right. So eventually some change they didn't know when the change was gonna come. They didn't know what would happen. But if I stay alive and endure these atrocities. There. If the change so happens to come in my lifetime, great. If it don't, oh well, I held out faith, hoping that it would come in my lifetime. They're worried about their children, right? They have children to raise because it's not just about them. Right. They they have they have. You mean like the children they forcibly made, like the when when all Massa children, made all them all breed? All, 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 all them one forced. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Some so, had, so all, I mean, all, whether, whether, all whether, things considered, no whether, matter how whether, the child got yeah, there, whether the existed. child was there, but it's still they're gonna be their child. You know, yeah. regardless of how the child came about, yeah. they still made that child, and so they're gonna have that. Just like that a connection child with the that child. was conceived, and and you were raped. If a person was raped, they still gonna love that child. Right. They're gonna protect. So that don't take away from anything. So, um, and if you and and most parents want to see their child become something or endure or be able to, you know, be better than them. So they had the hopes of eventually my child, if not me, will see the day of freedom. Mm -hmm. Hmm. That's, that's just like, okay, if you using that analogy, that's, 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 that's like saying giving up if you poor. If you in a poor environment, and you got kids and shit. Just 
So what, just kill yourself? Well, I I don't know that many poor people get the opportunity to come out and out somebody for them being poor and get to benefit off of outing. And see, that's why that's what I want to go back to because you keep using the word benefit. So so in your mind, you believe that Cassie was just a willing participant in all of this, and she was rich and famous with Diddy, and then until she wasn't no more, and then she decided to out him to get paid for it. It's, I mean, that's the way most uh, of these things appear. It's appear, it, yeah, it appear, yeah. It, it that's I, how it appeared, but I, really, I wasn't there. I don't know how the the de- de- destroyed well, her it, mental it, is. I don't. Yeah. I don't even know if you have a way to properly quantify how destroyed her mental is. When is the last even... video that she made? Like, when is the last time we even seen her? Well, did she even make good music? Oh, appreciate I appreciate the same. One. We appreciate the convo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, if, if someone, I don't even know if um, she ever made good music. Did anybody yes. ever care about Cassie's yes. music? Yes. What's what is her hit song? I think she didn't. She make that song. Me and I've been now. waiting so long. Uh, yeah, to think me. I'm gonna yeah. make a move. Yeah, now. he ruined her career. All also, that, too. Oh, he said fifty twice, huh? Yeah, oh, appreciate you saying what he he ruined uh, her career as well. I just want. Oh, I see two up there. Okay. Yeah, bro. Show two. If somebody show two, yeah, that, that it's just yeah. it's just crazy to me that 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 you would you would pick the victim shaming in this situation, uh, <laughs> Chad. Because everybody just because it looks like you have a choice, don't be you have a choice for real. He said she had. A I head. mean, I'm, she had about two or three. I'm, I'm engaging the conversation. Shit, this is these are natural thoughts and ideas. I I, I believe I don't. It's good I don't, to have a I devil's think, advocate. I don't think that I'm sitting here like this abused and traumatized woman doesn't have the right to um, to to want something to happen to her abuser. My thinking is: Was she abused? Was she a victim? I wasn't there. I you don't, should read I the don't, transcripts tonight. Well, I'm, I don't know how read. I don't know how valid that is. I'm skeptical of everything that I read. So, so you should. <laughs> it's okay. Listen, you can be- you here's why you can believe it. Because oh this shy? nigga paid it with no with no questions asked, and guess what? She's still working with the fans. Yeah. Well, uh, well, it's, it's he made no contract. Hell has no fury like a woman up. scorned. It's, he it. paid that money so fast that everybody and their mama started coming out and saying what he did because they if, th- wanted if, to if, get some money it, too. It sound like you ain't uh, in doubt of Diddy. Sound mm-hmm. like you. <laughs> Somebody said like, he like fight for Diddy bro, like Corey many. fight for Kevin Hart. <laughs> it's too many. It's too many people coming out saying yeah. the same thing, though. Right, right. Like, okay, for instance, when I came out here, it was a well-known thing that Diddy has the wildest parties ever. He does the craziest shit. Uh, they be having playing naked basketball. I thought Chad went to one. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 know, you know how them parties go down, Chad. Stop acting like out. you don't know what happened. Look, they play. They play. They say they play naked basketball. <laughs> all kinds of free. That's, that's the men. Jamie Fox, man. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This this men. Yeah. This men. Now, ain't nobody just a bunch of people, random people, telling you the same thing. Mm-hmm. And it's no validity to it. Yeah, like it's 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 twenty different motherfuckers you done talk to that warn you about going to a Diddy party. Mm-hmm. That ain't coming out of nowhere. Who is Dream Hampton? So, <laughs> so if 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 you if if this many people are coming coming out and telling you of how this man is, because if you got real money. You got a billion dollars. You can silence so many people, mm-hmm. and you was you had to be a treacherous nigga to get to that billion any goddamn way. You had to step on some necks to get to that goddamn billion. So it sounds like he's his money works outside of the people that's around him as well because it works on the people on the outside too because it got basketball in the dark. <laughs> it, it got it got people like you questioning. What if 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 the validity and his abuse? Well, so if a hundred people come out and say the the nigga is crooked, he does crooked shit. That's one thing. It's very feasible that he's a bad businessman. Uh, crooked is crooked is that's vague. 
I know. That's why I use the word. It, it's reasonable that they all are speaking their truth. When you have somebody who is in a relationship with somebody who is down with somebody, rocking with somebody for X amount of time, you have to ask yourself, were they okay with going into this situation because there was something to gain and they tried to stick it out because there was something to gain? Or was this person in a drug-induced coma for 12 years? It started out. I don't know which one makes more sense to y'all, but one of them... Drug... It started out as something. on drugs... You don't have to be constantly being on drugs for the effect still to wear off on you. It changes your... You just said it changes your mental. Mm -hmm. So if if you're on it long enough, then the influence lasts. You ever seen a crackhead? Even when they on, ain't on crack, they feel like it look like they on crack. <laughs> <laughs> because it's a long term effect. It ain't it ain't yeah. just about oh, when, well, what about when they get sober? But they don't you 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 you, you taking away. What's, what's that? What did they say? Uh, hey, oh no. Back down. He said Diddy is a piece of crap, and uh, Cassie could have called the police from the room and said she was in danger. What's the rest of it? What, man, the this nigga probably had police under. It, it, if you can you can influence a motherfucker, you can scare a motherfucker to the point where you feel like they feel like they have no outing. People is just not like slaves. We were talking about slaves. They felt like they had no outing. Who was gonna be there to help them? Who's gonna be there to save them? If everybody around her, if everybody around her now had, because she's 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 done been been with him for probably uh, you know before he started showing his uh, true self, she's probably been with him for, mm-hmm. for about a year or something. Now, all she knows is the people around him. Mm-hmm. Now, if everybody around him is complicit in, in, mm-hmm. in, in, in everything that he's doing, this is all she got. So, mm-hmm. how you gonna get outside of that? Mm-hmm. And people even not if, realizing... Even, nigga probably even got authority. Even if, if the nigga got authority behind him too, how you gonna get out of that? Then you see somebody else, they try to get out of it, they get murdered. Yeah, and people not realizing that he also had all these embarrassing things on her as far as like he had videotapes of her and these compromising sexual positions mm-hmm, that mm-hmm. was going to embarrass her that's why it probably took her so long to come out because nobody wants nobody to know that like when you being abused you don't want to tell nobody the real details of what happened especially when it was like that she was actually out here having sex with male prostitutes mm-hmm and yep. probably women prostitutes as well. You know what I'm saying? So she was probably embarrassed. Like, she was trying to leave him. And honestly, the only reason why Diddy left her alone is because her husband, the trainer, said, if you don't stop, I'm going to expose you or I'm going to call your handler. Or he told, he threatened Diddy that finally got him to back off. Hmm. So, you know, it was like finally... She was able to get away. Yeah, I, I, I ain't uh, I'm not one, especially if I, if, if, if I'm hearing the reputation of a motherfucker man yeah. from, from, from so many different people, uh, like I, I'm not, I'm not one to, 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 to shame the, the, the person that, that went through the shit. And you know when you get a when you get addicted to the drugs because then he had her drugged up so it was like at one at some point she was addicted to it so she was probably going back because Doing herself that's yeah. what I was saying yeah that's she was she saying. was you probably know. going back but she but we can't say she was in her right mind going back she was a drug addict you know it's like it's like how uh why well, joke about oh I was raised by two crackheads you know what I'm saying like all the shit that I went through because of them like. I just finally recently the other day was like, I have got to let this go. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have got to forgive my mama for whatever I'm mad at her about or my dad because at the end of the day, they was crackheads. Like, they was drug addicts, you know? I could be like, you picked the drugs over me. But, like, when you when you be on them strong drugs, like, mm-hmm. they have you selling the van for... <laughs> For a rock, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Now we right. gotta walk everywhere. <laughs> right, right, right. Where's the man? You, 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 you know what I'm saying? Man. man, I just, I just, I just have a moral compass, bro. Like, like I'm not, I'm not finna, um, I'm not finna. If somebody's experience, you, you can't minimize somebody's experience. They, 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 don't let them through. break you, Chad. Yeah, you can't, you can't minimize somebody. <laughs> 
Is it, you can't minimize somebody's experience. <laughs> Look, he ain't being some... broke. You see that nigga smile? Yeah, yeah. He's smiling. Like, gonna say what? Well, we're we'll gonna let him say what say he got to say. Got you can't say. Everybody gonna need to say what they got to say. Still my they opinion. went through an abuse. <laughs> went through a certain level of abuse. You know what I mean? Like, if 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 you are cornered into the abuse, I ain't. I, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I just can't. I just. I'm, I'm just not a nigga that's gonna that's gonna blame the victim. You feel me? Like whatever for whatever reason she felt. She felt some people find comfort in in in, in traumatic situations. Trauma bonding. There's trauma bonding. Uh, what is it called? Like soul ties. Yeah. You hey, know. Did you post this picture of her high out of her mind making decisions she don't want to make? <laughs> she look hiding the motherfucker on that <laughs> left one. I swear to God, she look do. Look at him. She hiding the. They bitch. both. She are. look high in the motherfucker. She definitely on that bitch. don't want to be there. He look high on that bitch. She definitely don't want to be there. Yeah. I mean, I think that all the all the hor- horrific stuff that he did, you know, <laughs> is something. <laughs> but but definitely, you know, you right, Chad. At some point, she was a willing participant. At some point, she was a willing participant. You know what I'm saying? And she played a part, but he did the most. Bruh. It's like just because you got her here, Bruh. you don't got to do all that. You don't know what's behind this picture, though. For all you know, it's a nigga she, with a gun behind the picture. For like, all bitch, you smile. Know, for <laughs> nigga. Take, take your bow, nigga. Chad. You got to, you, you At got some to point, understand. she probably was happy when she first you, started. Yeah. Right. That, that yeah. point right there. Yeah. Second point, nigga, you bet. If a nigga tell you, bitch, you better act right when you come in this motherfucker. I, but, <laughs> I done seen niggas do that. Yeah. Bitch, you better not motherfucker. You, you, yeah. Nigga, what are you <laughs> talking about? Why yeah, my ex, like motherfucker can't my, be a real My victim? ex used to choke. Man, my what? ex used to be man, whooping on, my dog. ass. Bitch, I'll kill you. And he'd be. The, what are we talking about, man? Put a smile man? on I can't your face. This nigga <laughs> serious, he said, do what? She said, put, put a smile I on your face. I can't believe this nigga is really. But see, <laughs> Chad, hey, Chad, Chad fucked up an individual, though. You fan that smile. <laughs> Chad a fucked up an individual, though. He, he do shit that I. Morally, I'll be like, nigga, that shit fucked up. So I understand that he's taking that side. This nigga was at the what Diddy party, okay? Yeah. <laughs> He had fun there. He doesn't yeah. understand why she did. Going down, fuck off. Chad, <laughs> Chad, Chad don't understand Chad why she like wasn't having fun. Chad feel like if he a bitch and and he make her do whatever she tell him to do, she was having a good time. Then, mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, hey, bitch, you, you had a good time. Somebody, bitch. somebody, I paid for the uh, drugs. Bitch. Somebody mentioned Charlemagne earlier. Yeah, like, bitch, I paid for the drugs. Oh, 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 you ain't had to worry about that. <laughs> yeah, you hide your goddamn mind. Said, you don't what? remember nothing, but that, but you had a good time. Put a smile on your face. <laughs> nigga, nigga, that's crazy, <laughs> y'all. I don't even endorse drugs. Oh <laughs> man, right. get out of here. Yeah, do that freaky shit sober. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> goddamn right. We took alcohol. He took alcohol. You a goddamn lie. I drunk. be drunk. Goddamn it. Them hoes be drunk, probably too. But that ain't got nothing to do with me. See, I didn't get them drunk. That shit. I got me drunk. Goddamn it. I'm saying if you, it, listen, I bought me the alcohol. That child used to be white women. <laughs> you gotta stop telling on yourself, Chad. Hey. Look, you, stop the, man. The, you look like a horrible the, the, person. The country, right now. the country like a looks horrible. Person, I don't wear. I ain't, look. Don't anybody's opinion about, about me, they, they are very valid. It. They are extremely valid. <laughs> Whatever you feel, goddamn it, it is on you. But the country looks the way it looks for a reason. People are moving the way that they're moving he for said a Chad reason. Chad was mad. It ain't no freak off this weekend. Said this bitch canceled the freak off. <laughs> 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 hey, the, the world looks the way it looks for a reason. Okay, you want to elaborate on that? Uh, y'all going? To, uh, we're we're. Hey, pre- talk about Geechee's damn on the chest. Like you, you fucked up too. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 and and, and, and we're, we're not even What's taking in the fact that, that we also that this is a man and a woman. Mm-hmm. A man can easily overpower a woman mm-hmm. physically, mentally. Mm-hmm. We have that ability. If yeah. a motherfucker really wrapped into us, mm-hmm. we got that ability. Down there. <laughs> we got we got we, we got that know. influence. Go. <laughs> sometimes sometimes <laughs> people just need a little push to enjoy themselves. Free game. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, y'all have a, a sexual assault mentality, man. If y'all don't realize that, 
Right. Like, yeah, sexual y'all, assault. Y'all got a mentality. sexual assault mentality. <laughs> y'all, all y'all that's thinking like that, y'all don't really. Y'all, are, are y'all victims, Chad? Are y'all victims? Are y'all, y- y'all got to be like, why y'all uh, feel like this okay, man? Hey, 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 it's just certain shit, man. I just, I can't. I, I definitely, did. Did, I definitely, I swear to God, I have not once said it was okay for him to take advantage of her. That has not once came out of my mouth. Well, if you don't feel like if it's okay to take advantage of her, then you shouldn't even be agreeing with him in any way, shape, form, or fashion. Who said I agreed with Diddy? Huh? Uh, you, know, <laughs> you can run this whole clip back. I never once said I agreed with Diddy. That never happened. Okay. He was just, just questioning her like role. She wasn't, no, she wasn't no victim. That's what you were saying. That's what I said. Well, how's she not a victim if he took advantage of her? But she that's to that's that what long. you know. I don't know saying? that he took yeah. advantage of her. We're basing this off. Well, you're basing what you're saying off of how many people are saying he's a monster. I'm not. You should defending. read the transcript. So you should to, read the transcript. To, you're trying to say that it's a possibility that he didn't do none of this shit to that's everybody you, involved. The, no, I'm talking. <laughs> I'm talking about you. That's what you. That's what you're. You're the base. That, 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 there's the possibility that this shit didn't happen that she's referring to. I'm saying that she probably was there because there was a benefit to her. But she still is a victim. If, whether you benefit a little bit out of this, a little bit out of that, you still are a victim. Especially if you in certain situations with drug induced. Uh, or or uh, uh, some, or uh, 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 you was forced in certain. She she even says she was forced in certain situations. So if she says she forced in certain situations, then the the relationship could be forced. <sighs> you a wild nigga for thinking like that. Though. He says shout out to Abe for the visuals. He made right. my pro. Somebody had uh, made a comment about my profile picture. He made it. <laughs> <laughs> You was complicit, a complicit victim. <laughs> yes, I want you to beat me up. <laughs> what the? Y'all don't make sense, dog. <laughs> what are you talking about, dog? <laughs> y'all are crazy, dog. <laughs> you complicit bitch. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> well, hey, we gonna we gonna skip country views, man. Um, uh, y'all already know if you need merch, go to youknowmarkets.com. Uh. Uh, promo, just hit the uh, inbox at you know Marcus or hit my uh, email you know Marcus at gmail.com uh, and mailing uh, Marcus Smith, P.O. Box 371-442, uh, Receipt of California 91337. All right. Phone calls. We'll go straight to the phone calls. We'll do three quick little short ones and then we'll uh, give it to Joan A. Feng Shui. Four two four four two six three five five four. Hit the line. Hit the line. Hit the line. <sighs> what? Hey, I ain't worried about it. I don't do <laughs> shit. Hey, I ain't, I ain't worried about nobody putting no bullshit on me. Motherfucker, know who know me and my character. I don't know. Hey, I promise I ain't worried about me. They are ne- this right here will show who I am. This, this episode, they come back like, oh, nigga. Yeah, that nigga don't even move like that. Look at this. Go look at this. A victim that leaves and come. Who said she left? <laughs> she did. She did leave and come back. But remember, he was forcing her to come back. Call from? Dale Robinson. So is that leaving? Mainstream in the building. What it do? What up, bro? This Dale Robinson in the building. What's happening with you, Dale? Oh, man. I just want to say, man, hey, y'all show be on point, brother. And uh, I appreciated the shows when you came up here to Seattle. That was me and my lady sitting right up front. Oh, okay. Okay. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah, man. Hey, had a ball at that motherfucker, man. Hey, love. man, that show was one of the best I've ever, I ever been to, man. Oh, shit. Hey. Come on now. Hey, and I, hey, you, hey y'all, Nate needs to give you a week. I'm saying it. But just mark me saying it. You hear me? Nate yeah. needs to give you a week. Come on now. Yes, hey, sir. But 
what I, uh, what I want to say is a couple of things, bro. Uh, I've been listening to the show all day here. Like I've been listening to most of them. Uh, and a lot of this is going to be directed at my man, Chad, Chad, you be on point so much, brother. All, you know, uh, you, you mentioned something about, uh, earlier on in the show about God, everybody was talking about God and like the existence of religion. And you were talking about how, uh, higher intelligence, you know, when you people who go to college or things like that, you know, the numbers show that they lose, uh, religious affiliation. Right. Right. But the, but the other side of those numbers say that the people who are considered to be more genius, like the people who passed on, like a Stephen Hawking or things like that, admit that there had to have been a creator. Well, I mean, that's kind of common sense. I don't he said he admit that what? There had to be a creator. That there had okay. to be a creator. Yeah. Yeah. Now, and, and then, now the other thing is, further along, when y'all, you know, which I was just talking about a little bit about this whole Cassie situation. Again, Chad, I'm gonna ride, I ride with you for a little while. The only thing that has to be taken out is the fact that uh, what makes it, what, what will make Cassie a victim in this situation is not her willingness to be there, but Diddy's intent. What? You know, if it, what, what, his, what was his intent on the things that he was doing to her to make her feel victimized? You know, if she's there saying. receiving, so whatever, whatever reason that it was that she showed up to be in dealing with any situation and then wound up having to deal with drugs, you know, that my alters the mind so what was his intention to do with her? Wait, was wait, he intending wait, wait, to victimize her? What, but what's the adverse of your statement? That means if his intention wasn't to make her feel victimized, then he's justified in doing what he did? No, there's no justification in victimizing anybody because a lot of times victimization is just like accidents. accidents no, you said his intent, if his intent wasn't, you said your, your example is if his intent was to victimize her. So if his intent wasn't to victimize her, does it now become okay? You just confused me. I don't know. Am I going no, the wrong I'm, direction? Am I I'm looking too deep that into it? You, it's it's what I'm, I mean. Look, I, let's break it down in the most simple form. If you ever been wrestling around with somebody, or you say something and it go too far. If it wasn't his intentions to victimize her, then he's not wrong. She's just she may have viewed something that have happened to be Nigga, you know outside what? of the outside of the pocket of the way. So that you she wrestling feels. with your cousin, right? And yeah. all of a sudden he grabbed your dick. On an accident, though. Oh, man, hold on. Right? Check that out. No. Let me, let me explain what the nigga <laughs> Now, no. when he do it on purpose, it's a difference. Let me explain what Because his intent if he do it, was if, if he grab, If he grab your, if he grab your dick, you, you know what I'm saying? If he grab your heinous. dick one time, I, I, and you're like, yo, bro, you need to chill the fuck out. I'm finna tell you but what you decide, But you decide you want to wrestle with him some more knowing that he didn't grab your dick again. Are you that really? makes a difference. I think, <laughs> I think what he's saying is basically is, is if... If the nigga was just out partying with her, that was enjoying herself, that was they was out uh, doing drugs together, you know, and then you know she felt a certain way about that, then that was unintentional. But if he was doing it at for control, right. and he was intentionally yeah. doing it that way, then yeah. that's that's yeah, what yeah. he means. But if you end up with control. Though you but wasn't doing using, it intentionally, but but even if you end up with control, but if you're using it. And admit with it with ill intent, yeah. then that's that becomes you, you can you can be in control just being as a leader. Mm -hmm. But if you're using the control and you're forcing people to do things, then now they're, they're they're a victim, bro. Well, yeah. like the way the law works, right? Like I was locked up with guys who were getting high with their friend. Their friend died. They they OD'd over drugs, and that person went to uh, prison over uh, manslaughter. You were just enjoying a drug with your friend. You didn't have no intention to kill them, but they still go to time. I met three or four of them. Okay, but but that ain't got nothing to do with this. That's the same. That, I don't. Okay, maybe I'm. I'm my no, mind, I don't know. Nigga, nigga, that ain't got nothing to do with the the the, 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 the uh, first of all, the justice system fucked up. Some of us go to jail. Exactly. For shit I was, that the I was about to say that, that brother. The, 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 the justice system was made by a bunch of criminals. And so once you figure right. once we wrap our minds around that, then we can deal with other things. But yeah. <laughs> But anyway, I don't want, I didn't want to take up too much time, man. Y'all hey, y'all show is amazing to me. I, I I enjoy all of the conversation. I, I enjoy I mean everybody, you know what I'm saying? I'm the one that sent the comment in about you, Miss Faith, over there looking like you had a uh 
you just come from a uh, <laughs> uh, a, a domestic violence trial. So. Oh, you funny. <laughs> I, do I but, look like the but, one that got beat, or do I look like the beater? Oh no, you definitely look like the beaters. I mean, you can see this car. You can see this car up. Definitely. Just a couple of. You, you put some sugar in the gas tank and you smack this baby mama a few times. So, I have yeah, planned every, on putting sugar right. in the gas tank. I yeah. always wanted to see what it do. Yeah. Salute, salute. <laughs> it ain't going to yeah. turn on one. <laughs> Already, man. Appreciate you, dog. <laughs> Hey, I appreciate y'all, man. Hey, I look to see y'all again in Seattle, man. It was it's great you. every time y'all come through. Absolutely. Appreciate you, Dale. Yes, sir. All right. Peace. Yeah, I don't think it's intent at all. It's the result. What? It's not intent. It's the result. What? What you mean? I If I didn't intend to offend you, but you ended up offended, I fucked up. <laughs> no. Hold on. Uh, mainstream in the building. What it do? It's a chair with a stay with What's going on? What's going on, family? What's going on with your family? Who, who, who this here? Where you from? Uh, chop from that town. Oh, what's yeah. up with you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything all good. But uh, yeah, man, I got I got to rock with my boy Chad, man. I think, man, he just been optimistic about just the situation that people just looking looking on the outside don't know too much of no don't know, know too much information. You feel me, like? You just how you gonna say? Like so, you 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 agreeing with Chad on on on, on assumptions, assuming that right, assuming yeah, that he did yeah, it. Wasn't just, that's all it is. Also, that's my, you, 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 you 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 agree with him on, on assuming that 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 P Diddy didn't do these things. That's, I, that's, I that's didn't your, say that. No, I, no but this is what you said. Yeah. Okay, this is what you saying, right? Nah, not really. I'm saying like to where he like he don't got all the information. He sound like me. He saying it's uh, how you know. It is what they saying it is, you know. How we know Why that she does wasn't. It, does it matter it. that he paid her off that fast? I mean, if somebody was trying to exploit me for millions of dollars, we're not talking about hundreds of thousands or anything like that. We talking about millions of dollars, and he just paid it with no questions and asked. Less than twenty four hours. None, none of that. No, nobody that taking that none that of that into into consideration. He probably, he probably over there right now. Yeah. He probably knew they was coming for him. Hey, he probably over there with her. It told her coming to him for. Hey, he can ride off in the sunset with her with some thirty million dollars. You know, oh, we really don't know. Right. Cut, Cut it out. out. What? Cut, Cut it out. out. <laughs> Wait. Cut this nigga mic. <laughs> <It's, laughs> it, he he expressed it wrong, but I know what he's saying. What is he saying? Yeah, because yeah, people do it like in marriage and point. shit. You when you know uh, so it's, the it's big like, man about to come down on you it, in marriage, some people get it, divorced like when, and, and um, pay their wife a lot of money, but they still be together. Right. It's it's like she when not with you go man. when your your girl called the laws on you because y'all got in a fight. You go to court, you get locked out. She come bail you out. Y'all go to the house and fuck. Everybody then took her side. They riding with her, <laughs> trying to protect her, and she going right back so to y'all. Y'all telling me that don't mean she didn't get her the... ass whooped. She just came no, back to fuck no, because she don't want to catch the body. Said. I was explaining what he just. So said. So you telling me you think this is a publicity stunt? <laughs> Yeah, for this nigga to get thirty million hey, of his dollars, me and my guys, we we just sit there and talk about Kells, Mike, and all of that. But everybody like to just side with with the uh, the fucking the radio and the fucking TV is saying, man. But a lot of time it ain't got to be like that. Or some of these niggas just fucked up. Yeah. I yeah, mean, you know, a lot of motherfuckers in this world is fucked up, especially in in the entertainment world and Holly Weird. Come on now, this Diddy is one of the richest black men like in the, entertainment. The, the rumors about Hollywood are some of them are, are, are exaggerated, but a lot of them are true. It's some fucked up people out here. I, I bet you the exaggerations <laughs> have some <laughs> truth to them. But hey, are we just going immediately and going against the motherfucker. And I, I still don't believe in like all these other people. Yes, he doing fucked up shit. And, but all these other people that were see, seeing all this shit. They supposed to go down too. Why are you gonna wait all these years when black men getting uh, uh, talked about and and gotta go to jail, gotta run, flee? Why you want to come out now and talk shit? We, you you have to be a part of this shit, huh? Why now? Why now you want to? Because out and talk he about has shit? money that can silence niggas. And he see, killed. So it's a few niggas that they say he killed around yeah. him. They even said he killed Park. They said he killed old girl. They said he killed. Uh, they tried to kill uh, uh, Alby Short. He just, like, what are you talking he, he about? He the man, motherfucker niggas, up in the club when Shine went to jail. Yeah, he got right. killed in the club with Shine. Yeah, no, like, she ain't that. Like, she got shot in the face. Ever, man. Huh? She got shot in the face that day. 
And Sean niggas went set down for it. Ever, man, I'm telling you. Like, niggas just kick each other while they down, just believe everything a motherfucker say. But be I'm not riding with, with no nigga like that's shit. a... What? Niggas is the worst community ever. And niggas listen, is not riders for nothing. You think I'm things. finna ride with a nigga that... Hold on, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now you tripping. You tripping. You think I'm finna ride with a nigga that's fucked up like that? That's destroying everything around him. He yeah. actually pulling the black community down. You want yeah. me to ride with a nigga like that? Are you yeah. crazy? But you dog? don't know that's what's going on, though. Mace bro. been trying to tell us. The, the girl, the girl that came out even said herself that P did it shot me in the face. Yeah. The girl, the 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 uh um the they they talking about the old boy said that he, that P did it gave him money to get uh yeah. Tupac. Like like all these people. You saying just all these people are liars. And you gonna ride with the one nigga? You gonna ride I, with I one nigga? Is, you going against the black community too, then, nigga? I'm, man, I'm gonna be optimistic about everything. I'm not gonna just. That's take not it optimistic. For, <laughs> yeah. uh, that's that's not missing. optimistic. You're going against every <laughs> black person that's te- that's telling you that this nigga fucked up to go with one to, to ride with one nigga. So you going against yeah. the black community as well, nigga? Nah, not really. No, no, you're, you're, you're being dismissed. The point, the this point of uh, the point of me too, because people are saying like, oh, all these people Christ. said this stuff. The point of me too is Cassie is big as hell. One of the biggest celebrities to come out against him. If all them little ass people would have came out and said, did he did this to me? He would have killed them like he killed his wife, or they would have dim- dismissed it. But because Cassie could come out and be like. He did this to me. Now other people feel empowered to say, "Yeah, it happened to me too. It happened to me too." Hey, you, 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 you really, you really. Uh, it sounds like you, 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 you. Uh, you a big fan of Diddy? Like you worship Diddy a little bit? That's great. Nah, bro, I don't give two shits so about Diddy. Like this, so why do you, why uh, you ride don't, for him so hard, then? Because this man really beat bitches. Hang up. Why you why you riding for him so hard, then? I don't understand. Cause Cause that, okay, that can be with bitches. anybody, bro. That can that be with anybody. That is the voice of be, a nigga that beat bitches. Hold on, hold on. You said what now? That's what they say the most about him. Hold on, say, say it again? I, hey, that might not be the true story, the full story. That's okay, you, you, no, why, why you say you riding with him? I, I say it could be my brother. It could be anybody. I'm saying hey, hey, anybody you know, you know, that you just know can people... put out there like that, bro. You just don't know really what's going on. That's my point, bro. But, but like, you know... I, I still going to look at it a little different try to... Look in between the cracks too. I ain't just gonna let somebody just but, come but out bro, saying anything about my damn brother. All these people that's go, that's saying that he did these things could be your brother too and your sister. Exactly, your brother. Well, too. you're not yeah, making sense. Your brother could do this thing. shit. Why you coming out so late? Just because it's your brother they're don't mean. And, and, everybody a part of it. Everybody a part of it. And they've been saying the same shit, right? And, and they always been saying the type, same type of shit. That mean you bad riding with it. Everybody been riding with it. Now it's a problem. Oh my god. Hey, all right, man. We're going to holler at you, dog. All right. He said we can have right. this conversation forever. That nigga didn't make no sense, dog. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't help you at all. Look, look it's, it's he unfortunate. He's a chance start going against the nigga. It's a, it's a, a chance start going against the nigga. He's a chance start going against it's, the nigga. It's unfortunate when people hear my ideas and my viewpoints. But that's what I'm saying. You create, because people don't, a lot look, of people look, don't. Wait, don't, hold on. Let me finish my sentence. It's. It's unfortunate that people can hear my viewpoints and think that I am some way in some form trying to side with Diddy. Since I've been a kid, it's been common sense that if you went inside with Bad Boy, it was a damn good chance you was going to get fucked out of your money. Mm -hmm. So me being a kid understanding that, every time I saw somebody sign to him, I was thinking to myself, damn, they want fame that bad. They want fortune that bad. That they would go with something that everybody is saying is a bad idea. That's all I'm saying right oh, now. Come on, Miss Beverly. Help hey, these folks. Hey, Miss Beverly. Help them, Miss Beverly. Y'all, how y'all doing? All right, man. I, I sure want me a peppermint right now hearing your voice, Miss Beverly. The chewy kind. Nah, yeah, yeah. them the best the kind. The one in the bottom of the purse. <laughs> y'all are so funny. How y'all doing? Oh, good, man, good, we doing good. great. How you doing? Right, sugar. I'm doing good. I've been hearing all the comments and stuff. I have nothing to say about nothing. I just wish all this stuff would go away. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Everybody just, I just want it to go away. Everybody mm-hmm. just love each other. I, my husband yeah, watches it on TV, but I, I try not to look at that kind of stuff. Right, yeah, right. yeah. That's right. above her pay grade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't don't have Below that. Any, you don't want to have certain things in your spirit. I understand. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. This whole world is crazy. But hey, Mama Joe. Hey, Miss Beth. Hey, Chad. 
Hey, what's up, baby? <laughs> what's going on? You know, Marcus. Hey, Miss Beverly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm just waiting on my turn. <laughs> <laughs> hey, over there, young lady. Hey, thanks for coming and changing the trajectory of the conversation. Yeah. It was just heated. It feel calm now. <laughs> oh, Bring the good spirits. Good. I'm glad. Y'all had a great week? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Everybody, everybody's Easter was good? Yes, yes ma'am. ma'am. I don't celebrate That's Easter. Good. That's good. Well, oh, I just yeah. wanted to holler at y'all. I tell y'all, I, I tell y'all this every time I call in, but I'm just so proud of y'all. I love the show. And yes, I ma'am. listen to it. I listen to it. I, I, I don't call in to comment. I just call in to brain cheer. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. And we appreciate you. Yeah. Whoo, hallelujah. We needed it. And that's right. That's <laughs> right. But well, y'all have a good night. All yes, right. ma'am. Too. Good and night. I, and, I, and I'll try to check in next week. Yeah, all yes, right. ma'am. Sure. Have a good okay. week. I Talk to you next y'all. week. All love right you, too. Love you, right. too. All right. Yes, ma'am. All right, now. Good yes, night. ma'am. She took me with that little laugh. <laughs> 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 oh, man. It, it, oh, oh like, what you saying? It, it's like when you're, you're outside being bad with the homies and that one lady come outside yeah, yeah. and you hide your hand. Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Nothing. Oh, yeah, yes, ma'am. I'm going to tell her you said hey. Oh, <laughs> right. GB Shark said keeping that integrity solid. Respect. Appreciate you for the 20, GB Shark. Yeah, yeah. Uh, salute to uh, Benjamin and uh, somebody else. Hollered at me on this joint. Benjamin and David Whittaker. Uh, I thought we were done with calls. the calls. Oh, oh, go ahead. Let them ride. Let them ride. Last That's one. Oh, my God. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Hey, mainstream in the field. What are you doing in the mix? I know you got something for. What oh, you... no, 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 no. People getting that show up out here, man, with that sweet voice on that microphone. Make sure I can't, I can't come talking crazy after that, that sweet church woman that got over there. No, man. I just want to let know, everybody know, man, we got that Main Street love in the air, man, and we're going to keep it calm and collective, man, after hearing that fool while we're going to talk about that stuff. I yeah. think that nigga was sliding in there. Yeah, had did his back because he been up in that party peeking through one of them peak holes or something, nigga. That's what he was, nigga. That's a pity. That nigga, that. And you walk about that nigga, nigga, your whole back gonna hurt, nigga. But, uh, look here, I just called and tell you, brothers, man, good stuff. Uh, you know you're doing a good job, man. Keep your head up, man, and do your thing, brother. That's all. Absolutely, my boy. Yeah, 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 man. We're gonna keep this people, brother. Yes, sir. Already. Right. All right. All right, now. All right. All right. All right. All right. Thanks for calling. All right, man, we couldn't mind. Oh, uh, no, man, I, 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 I love it. I love that that we can, we can, we can have a, a healthy debate. You know what I'm saying, and, and get our, our, our viewpoints so across. You are the great debater. I'm, I'm, I, I he love, love it. it. Oh yeah, right. You know my my hair right. stand up on my head when you start saying shit. I'm take like, that, that, take oh, that. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I be ready for the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, this nigga, this nigga here, he, he turned into the Chad Marcus show. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> right. This nigga, here, yeah, he 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 be having some. But but you know, we 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 all gonna have different viewpoints on shit, man. And and and, and I feel like uh, that's what makes a, a good show. Uh, people uh, not agreeing to everything and every that you know everybody see on the panel. My you bad. know, I appreciate cause you know, you know, cause. It, Nigga, be who be who you are. You know what I'm saying. Don't let and no, look look at how many know. people did agree with him. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But it's, it's gonna be people that agree with you. It's gonna be people that agree with me. You know what I'm saying. We can we gonna express our valid points and shit mm-hmm. like that. And 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 that's when when we get off this motherfucker, nigga, we we it's love. Ain't it's nothing shit, shit change. It, it back to life. Goddamn you know rent man? still do. Goddamn. Hey, right. <laughs> oh my god. Today no, is yeah, a third. I ain't man. feeling no way. <laughs> I ain't feeling no way about. What happened on here? I ain't, I ain't mad at you. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, and that's what we missing as a society. We feel like if somebody disagree with us, they can't be around us or a part of us. You know, certain disagreements are, is understandable. I mean, like, motherfuckers be needing that echo chamber to feel validated. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But I, I don't think if if you don't get any type of challenges, you know, you you'll never grow. Absolutely. You know, Albert Einstein needed uh, adversity. Uh, uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson needs diversity. Like these these people need their ideas and belief system to be challenged in order for them to go to the next page or the next level. Yeah. 
Yeah, absolutely, man. Yeah. That's but but just to to round up what I was saying, like for anybody who heard me um uh bu- 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 uh defending uh a Diddy or anything like that, yeah. like I was saying during that call, I don't know if y'all heard it while the phone was ringing, but it's been understood to me since a kid that he was a crooked businessman. They you you didn't even hear about people's private lives like that. You know what I'm saying? But I knew as a youngin, and so every time I seen somebody go sign with him, I'm like, "This ain't gonna end well." This ain't like I was. I was super sad and disappointed when Eight Ball and MJG went over there. I'm like, "Well, hopefully they they big enough gangsters to mm-hmm. be able to hold their own when they go over there." Right. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't hear no bullshit when they was there or when they left. So you know, maybe they were old enough and. Um, in tune with the business enough to go survive a uh, bad boy and not not get fucked over. Yeah. But every time I seen somebody going over, I'm like, ooh, shit. I wonder does it work out? Like who do who 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 do they choose to fuck over in the industry? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Is it people who can go to fucked up uh, businessmen and come out on top? Of yeah. a of a business deal, right, right, right. You know what I'm saying. So that's that's something I could see as a kid, and I don't know hardly shit about the world. Yeah. So if I see somebody go fuck with somebody in a in a position that can help elevate them, in my mind, I'm like they probably wanted to be over there. Maybe they in- got introduced to some shit about. Maybe they found out what they had to do over there <laughs> wasn't something that they love to do, but you went over there. You but know what I'm saying? The, so I'm not saying you can't uh, victimize a motherfucker and do some fucked up shit to him when they get there, but we ain't got no parameters for this. But but you got to understand this. Like, also, you you can go dump, dive in the swamp with alligators and, and everybody come kill the alligators they trying to bite me. Right. Yeah. That's crazy. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. but, 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 but you got to understand this as well. There's a reason why people still was joining this 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 uh because in the beginning first of all everything is gonna be sweet you can't you ain't you ain't gonna in the beginning you can't have motherfucker come over here and then and then abuse him and do him bad off top and then expect well to be stand up Remember, re- remember, um, did he had the show when he was making them people uh, walk making around, a band. making a band? I mean, he was abusing them off top. Yeah, yeah. well, well, walk well, across well, the bridge most, for some cheese. In cake. most situations, that you know what I'm saying. In most situations, you know, a motherfucker with, with enough sense in the beginning, you start doing wild shit. They ain't sticking around. But I don't, I don't think it really works with Diddy because, like I'm saying, as a kid. I'm I'm seeing people get bad deals, and I don't even really know how contracts label, and money work. But a label deal in a relationship, two different things, right? But what I'm saying is, I kept seeing people go sign the bad boy. Right. They was never at a shortage for new artists, right? Yeah. So if because new they artists sell are it sweet, because some people but was you, ready you, to sell their soul for whatever they had to do, but what, what, what they had to do. But like you said, once they got in there and the alligators start biting. They ain't like it no more. But but it's if for me it's like if I got some talent and a bad boy would have reached out to me, I'd I'd, I'd rather just not have nothing. You know what I'm saying? Unless people I know I can go over there and get the fame. Like that's what. Unless unless I, unless I know I can go over there and get the fame and then leave and get the money somewhere. Yeah. Else. That's why people sign 360 yeah. deals because for yeah. the same way, same thing Megs and Stallion did and shit. Because at the end of the day, they have what you yeah. the popularity or what you you just like. Oh, I can go in and get out, but then you realize you can't get out. And yeah. the thing about Diddy too, the so, thing about this whole thing with with the feds coming and all that, if you notice that they're coming because of the allegations with underage kids supposed to have been there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That it was mm-hmm. underage children. So once you start, it's like he knows that he's targeting and young so, women. And, and to be clear, I don't think none of the kids that are being brought up in these allegations went over there for benefit. <laughs> no, they but did see, they, though. They, they did. They did. What? They went over there because it was Diddy. You know what I'm saying? They was young. They young minded. They oh, we finna go to a Diddy party. It's gonna be celebrities there. Da da da. Then when they get there, they take a shot at the dough. But that's why you gotta be careful of the message you spew out, Chad. Because 
Just I mean, I can't help that people ain't critical thinkers. Yeah, well, that I, I, mean, I, that mean I won't even be able to express opinions on this motherfucker. No, no I'm saying like some of the things you said, people, cause, cause people are extremists. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Some, some people like you validating their, cause they might be abusers themselves. So they listen to Chad you. said, <laughs> yes, right. they listen right. to you is like right. shit. Man, she, you know, the, the, Chad put it so eloquently. Right. How abusive. I mean, he did have me changing my mind a little you bit. You know what I'm like, saying? Like, like, like. She did go over there. Yeah, you know? like, like, but, but, but you got to understand. real, though. And you do, you are a but voice you, for people you, that think like but that. But you know your mom would, would warn you about certain type of R. men. Kelly. Or somebody in your family or somebody in your life. Specifically, R. But, R. Kelly. But, you know, you they would gotta... warn you about certain type of people. So if you went over there and something happened to your ass, yeah. you'd be like, shit, I knew better. Yeah. Growing up, my mama used to tell me, if you see R. Kelly, don't go with him. Yeah. So if I saw <laughs> him, for real. yeah. So if wow. I saw him and went with him, but I don't regardless think of what the... he did to me, but I put myself in that situation. But also, if I was young and easily impressionable, is I was still a victim. I don't think she went in. She went in there uh, uh, knowing about him being the person that he is. Mm -hmm. Now, like I said, right. there's a difference between a label and a relationship. You know what I mean? She assumed she was a pretty girl. Even though she was young, the, and, he the, was old. and remember, but, but she, that's what, he forced himself to be her boyfriend. He chased her boyfriends away on, and on, then wait, asserted wait, himself wait, in wait, that wait, position. Hold on, hold on, wait, wait. But we know women love coming into a man' life saying, "I'm gonna get different treatment. I'm special." And that's true too. You've dealt with that, okay? But what they gonna do? That's 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 what you're and describing. Then you no, but she, I said she women mentally. She wasn't aware of him. She, it, Somebody doing something with a label and, 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 and a that's a personal in the business. Wait, wait, so huh? but you, she when you say of that. when you say she's not aware of the possibilities of the things that she endured. She, no, she wasn't aware that that was a possibility. No, she know even if she knew who he was. First of all, she's nineteen, mm -hmm. right? She's nineteen. This person is a, a mogul or, or whatever whatever term you want to describe him. This nigga got a label. This nigga is a, is, is a major person. Mm -hmm. She might not even know nothing about the nigga. Mm -hmm. You're now you're assuming. You know what I'm saying? You 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 you're running with assumptions, but you telling us not to run with some, some shit we that that we heard. I'm not. I'm, I'm not telling you this to assume said, that Chad she wasn't is trust abused. Trying to say because Cassie said that doesn't mean that it all happened the way that she said it. Something like that. But uh, I'm. I'm not telling you to assume what happened to her didn't happen. I'm telling you that she could have made a conscious choice to go over there, and she probably stayed longer than necessary because of the benefits that came with staying there which is probably the drugs okay. but we, we also saying that her initially going over there mm -hmm. wasn't to go through all that i know not right, right. so well, that's the same well, thing with yeah. whitney whitney Look, didn't get with on. bobby to get high hold on hold, she, she probably was in love with that man let me land <laughs> let me land let me land her initially right. going over there we can you can make all the assumptions you want. Mm -hmm. And you can you can assume she knew it. She could not know that man from a can of paint. Yeah. She could it, it ain't like he was that known. Cause what is what is Cassie? Is she even black? What is she? Mixed. I don't know. She is she mixed. mixed she could she could have not known anything about this man. So we can't come in with the assumption that she knew that she, that this nigga, nigga uh mm -hmm. did not knowing anything. Everybody is crazy. knew Mason Diddy at one point. Okay. She could not know anything about this man's reputation. Right. How about that? Since y'all want to decide, she yeah. might. She could yeah, that, not know. She that, could, that's that's crazy. The rock that she was living on that was huge. Well, was his, not, reputation all, his reputation kind of just started that, coming when, out. When that yeah. Then? His, when his reputation 19, just started coming when out. When was this? How what? How old is she now? What are we talking about? Uh, bro, this about twenty years ago. I had seen this. So video, she got uh, with them when Biggie was alive. Like how long nah, ago was this? Nah. What are we talking here? No, she's not even that old. I seen this video recently, right? And this woman, she was being uh, abused by her husband. She's 37. I mean, he was just 18 years ago. So and she is, kept going back. But some victims' minds play tricks on them because this woman said she kept going back to her husband. She kept going back to her husband because in her mind, she was like, well, you know what? 
I was being, I was doing this. I was doing that. I shouldn't have made him that mad. I feel bad. Sometimes you feel bad for the person that's victimizing you. Yeah, I you gave him a I'm reason saying? to beat my ass. Yeah, like, yeah, sometimes you feel bad for that person. Like, I, I was with my kids there for a long time, like, too long. I, I was there partly because of fear, because mm -hmm. I'm like, if I leave, what I'm going to do? He been taking care of everything this whole time. And now if I leave, I don't really have no skills and I got all these kids. I got to stay. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of what he was doing and just you deal with it day by day. You just deal with it. And everybody in your family is looking like, why you keep going back there? But guess what? When you go to your mama house, she pissing you off. You want to fight her. When you go to your family house and you stand with them. I literally got back with my kids dead because I said, I would rather deal with his shit than yeah. my mama shit. Mm -hmm. All right. You know so what I'm somebody's saying? allowed to say that was a choice you made, right? It was. It was mm -hmm. a choice that I made. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, that don't mean that Still I wasn't victim, being victimized Stockholm in the situation. Yeah. 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 That's what I'm saying. Okay, Some so people's victim you, you mind work point, differently. You keep bringing up the point that she was 19. So. And naive. If 19 and naive. So if. She shoots the school up. We gonna say mm -hmm. she knows better. Mm -hmm. If she goes and fucks That's with, not the same. Uh, how? Huh? That's not the same. Choosing to go in a relationship, her. choosing to go in a relationship with somebody and shooting the school up is not equivalent. You try, you taking an extreme and you trying to compare it to some regular. And I can't do that because what? Because it, it's not a <laughs> comparison. <laughs> There's no no nowhere those, near the same. Those things aren't comparable. No. She she's she's smart enough to know not to shoot a school up, but not smart enough to know the dangers of dealing with an older wealthy man. No, nigga, what are you talking about? This <laughs> this is the craziest shit. Look, y'all, no, look, look, look we ain't gonna never stop. Blame it on the alcohol. You're 19. You're fresh out of high school. Mm -hmm. you first of all. When when you when you was in high school, you was dealing with older niggas. It was plenty of bitches that was dealing with older niggas. That was a thing. That was a common thing. You, if you think about it, when, it, it was motherfuckers fifteen dealing with niggas that was twenty one. I was. Yes, yes. Niggas, exactly. Twenty one so year common... olds and nineteen year olds are the same, are they not? That's what. That's my point. What, how's that your point? Well, you just said dealing with no older business. niggas. And here's huh? the crazy thing: them relationships that I had with like older men when I was a little girl. I look back and I'm just like, now at my age, now I'm like, them niggas was victimizing me. Yes. Them niggas had no business and, and, talking to me. And Chad is justifying them niggas. Because he's like, nigga, that was a normal I didn't thing. say nothing not about them, the niggas. I'm them. talking I'm about the, your, your mindset. the 19-year-old. Huh? I'm talking about the 19-year-old's accountability in any but of I'm, it. But they, they aren't allowed to be deemed as adults or human beings. What they, they say they if you sell your soul? Young, impressionable minds at 19. What? Yes. So, yeah, they, they're, so not, we're, they're not. We, if you we, we soul, are. Don't play they're fresh out. She, she's fresh from being an adult. So, so we're so, substantiating so an adult, and she can't even drink yet. So we're substantiating that a 19-year-old doesn't have the intellect to target a older, wealthy man. <sighs> but the whole who says she targeted is, him? Yeah, they said that I, she, you keep. I'm asking a question, sir. He chased it's her boyfriend away. He chased away. her boyfriend away. Did you not get and, that part? And forced himself in that position. Her? He just found some random 19-year-old and chased if her boyfriend. If you're a rich, powerful man, you see a beautiful girl. She a pretty fucking girl. You think he I ain't think she her? Had, I think she was like a so coming up she artist. She up to that nigga and was like, I want you. She was like a coming up artist. Uh-huh. And then he ended up chasing her boyfriends away. Mm -hmm. And then asserting himself, like I have had, I have been in relationships where niggas just kind of force you in a relationship. Like in Chicago, people know, like a nigga, you will meet a nigga at, at twelve p.m. and be his girlfriend by five in the evening. So kind of, so <laughs> kind of like, oh like we, uh, Jada said, Will pursued her to the point to where she was finally. Like, yeah, you just give in. up. Yeah, you just give up. Yeah, you just give up because you like this, this, and sometimes this the only nigga that keep calling. You know what I'm saying? The only one that keep on keep. Keep on, and finally you just like whatever. Okay. I'm gonna just get a nigga a so chance. So is you Jada just a victim too, or it. she's too old to be a victim? Mm -hmm. He talking to you? What, what you? Anybody? Is, is victim Jada what? Victim? I don't. Yeah. I don't even. I wouldn't even. I don't even know what the fuck you uh, y'all nah, talking about with Jada. She did all the stuff. She, huh? What? She did all the stuff. No, I'm saying when when he pursued her relentlessly, and she gave in. Well, she, well, but he didn't do anything to was her that was like, of? yeah, she's not a victim of, of anything. Of 
of him relentlessly pursuing her, like and no, no, no. choosing to be it, with it, her. Okay. She would <laughs> <laughs> No, hold on, because I'm, I'm trying to understand where you're going. What, what are you talking about? She wasn't a victim of anything. Being an advocate, she, the devil's advocate. You've been a you've been a terrible devil's advocate right now. No, you've been a, a great one. <laughs> you know, he's not making a point. <laughs> That's what not, the devil do, cause confusion. <laughs> Yeah. He's not making a point. This nigga, that nigga getting into him. He, boy, he losing do. his goddamn Call self. Computer. I don't know what the fuck you talking about no more. You were making some, you were making some points earlier. Now you just reaching for the skies, hey, nigga. Goddamn. He, he that nigga that called in. <laughs> Right. And made Chad turn on his ass. Chad was like, hold up. That nigga went into your brain, what? nigga. That nigga, what? God damn, what? I'm, I'm lost. That nigga, that mm. nigga went, he turned her from uh, making a boyfriend to a school shooter. I'm like, wait a minute, boy. <laughs> what? Uh, all right. <laughs> yeah, pregnant at 15 by a 20 year old. Is crazy. <laughs> Said it's nasty work. Look, look, they, uh, you, 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 you losing your people now. <laughs> now you lost me, Chad. <laughs> no, they still Thank there. <laughs> Thank you, David Whitaker. Said, now you lost yeah. me, Chad. <laughs> Thank you, David Whitaker, for the cash out. Oh, uh, go ahead with your gym. Make sure you get Chad all his, all, right. uh, all his money. I don't forget what my gym was. All right, we'll skip the gym. We finna no. close out. Yeah, we're gonna close out. No. no, you be all right. We, no. we, we, we way over time. Talk all this foolishness, and then y'all don't want to hear me now. You're right. That ain't right. Y'all. I want to hear it. Y'all ain't said nothing. I want to hear it. Well, y'all don't talk about the victim thing now. I'm going to talk about it too. Okay, go ahead. Oh, no, yeah. shit. <laughs> right. You know, we, yeah, say your take. Well, my thing is, uh, I can understand Marcus side. I can understand Chad. I understand both sides. I understand, I understand what Chad's saying. Look, say that Chad know he wrong with his pride. Still got him fighting. <laughs> 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 Salute <laughs> the big <laughs> folks. <laughs> Forget the chat right now. I, under, I understand both sides because uh, I met Marcus' dad when I was 15. 15 years old. How what old, you laughing at, Abe, over there? It just sounded like you said you met Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and you know we grew up together. We just and I was with him till I was like thirty eight, and and I wanted to leave way be- before the time that I left, but I didn't because it was just it was just it was just it wasn't just about me. It was about my children, you know. And I, and I felt like that all I knew was him. And I didn't your, know you made your sacrifice for others around you, right? Yeah, and I didn't so know do it selfish. It, it, I didn't okay. know what I, I didn't know what to do, what to do, you know. And he was a bread run, bread one in the house. He was taking care care of the home. Right. So I stayed long. I tried to stay till all of them was grown, but that didn't work. But um, and I endured a lot. Was I he went a lot a older lot. than you? No, no. He's, he he, he was like eight months young than me. Yeah. Oh, okay. But um, and I do endured a lot because I I couldn't I I couldn't be selfish and just think about me, mm-hmm. you know. And I think even in the process, some of the things that they do today is because of what they saw or what they went through, and and it damaged them. And I I thought you know it was happening because financially we. It took two in a household, I feel. Yeah. And I hadn't had, you know, I, I I hadn't been with anybody else. All I knew was him. Mm-hmm. So when I just, like you said, I was a victim in a, in, a, in a state, you know, some of it. And then I didn't help I them. It didn't, it didn't help them. It right. wasn't good for them to see the things that they saw. Right, right. So six to one hand, half a dozen of the same thing. It's just it's just wrong on, on every level. Right. It's still wrong because a person to be forced into stay in staying into some 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 uh, to, into a relationship that was not good for them, that's not conducive for them nor the kids. Right. You know, we well, uh, the kids need their dad. The kids need their dad. No, no. sometimes kids just need their mama. No, for real. At the end of the day, no. he wasn't no monster. I wouldn't call him no monster. I don't know about what you just my said. Kids was, my kids was my ready for their dad to leave. Huh? My kids important. was ready for their dad to leave. It, it was, it was, it's important, but it's not important if, if, if for the things that they seen. Right. It, exactly. it, it, 
at the end, at the end of at the end of the day, it messes them up mentally from what they seen. And sometimes, like how you said, you stay long longer than you wanted to, but some men will see you staying and take that like as a sign of weakness yeah. and keep on using their power to just abuse. I seen yeah. this post the other day that said men sacrifice their family for happiness and women sacrifice their happiness for their family. Yeah. Yeah, and he ever never he always said, You'll never you ain't going nowhere. You ain't going nowhere. You know, and you stay so long, they don't think you're going nowhere. We keep right. taking, taking out the fact that he, like they said, he was chasing down and threatening her loved ones, dog. So yeah, he was doing a lot. So 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 if a nigga doing all that, dog, you gonna you gonna, you gonna allow your loved ones to get killed, or you gonna take that risk? Huh? Come on now, cause 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 cause, cause the ex wife died, right? If I so it wasn't no it wasn't no empty threats. The if nigga, I seen the nigga got bodies on me, I'd be staying. The nigga mm-hmm. got bodies on it. Ain't that no, so? He so so so. If, if, in that case, are you a victim or not? Because you 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 a- a- sacrifice. A- a- ask yourself. Huh? Ask Bro. yourself. I'm asking you. Ask yourself though. Yeah. Are you staying? Get back into that huh? no more. Are yeah. you staying? Y'all you remember well get out of there. What you mean? If if did it. If Diddy threatens your First family. First of all, Diddy ain't going to be with me. You got to give me a different scenario, my boy. No this Diddy. is This is the scenario. No Diddy. This is the scenario. Minutes. No, no Diddy. Diddy is outside after the podcast. He says, hey, Marcus, mm-hmm. you come with me or everybody you love is dead. Okay, but where are we going? <laughs> <laughs> That's your question? Yeah. <laughs> yeah okay. And I'm on, and I'm on, cause I'm a scheming plot. I need to know what the fuck going on. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm scheming and plotting, but you, but, but, but it's guns to every one of my folks' heads, and you, you telling me, hell yeah, nigga, what, what we going? I mean, it's but, easy to say what you do about? outside of the situation as well. Yeah. Everybody's saying, I would have did this. You I gotta be now. Yeah. yeah. You Even with the slavery thing, you, you gonna get, you gonna let all your people get killed? I'm asking you the question now. Yeah. And shit, it, it'll never happen. It's not realistic. Oh, so why did you just? <laughs> Okay, you know what I'm saying? See, see what I'm saying? Everybody that agree with Chad ought to feel <laughs> stupid right now because uh, he's just making up shit now. Uh, bullshit. Yeah, you, he's just uh, making up uh, shit. He's reaching for the skies. Don't, don't, don't try and, and make my point. He's reaching for the skies. You. See what I'm saying? Don't try to make my point, move. Yeah, yeah, boy, that nigga reaching for the sky. Y'all look. I, 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 can't. I can't. Get that nigga off me. Move. Take that. Take that. <laughs> Uh, all right, man. Okay. All right, you done? Yeah, I'm done. All right, all right, man. We talked too much today. Yep, sure did. Uh, Chad was on that drink heavy today. <laughs> no, no, he no. Drink heavy today. He, no, I just gave y'all something to consider, man. He, he said we, Chad trolled we, it, right? We, we, we creating a society of, of people with a victim complex. And if if the way he reeled uh, Fantasia, what's her name? Cassie. If the way he real Cassie in is mm-hmm. with death threats towards her loved ones, it would make sense that she went over there and gave her the opportunity in the first place. But just the the ability to uh, w- w- Stockholm syndrome her ass was was definitely immaculate because my impression was this was a young lady who wanted to be a celebrity. He met her and and got in a relationship with her. Um, ten years later, she came out saying that she was a victim. That was my understanding of it. Now, if she get, went to be with the nigga because she didn't want her family and loved ones to die, my power to you, sister. You you deserve every single token of that thirty million. Hmm. Read the court documents too when you get the chance. Hmm. Hey man. I'll just say this. It's it's too many, too many people agreeing to the same shit. Too many people agreeing to the same shit. Y'all, you you talking about too much benefit down to the groupie? Uh, That's one. I said there's people. We y'all keep taking away points. You can't keep taking away points to try to force a point. You hear me? Y'all keep trying to take away from points to try to force a point. No, you're not going to do that. We're going to have we're going to put everything in perspective with this situation. Well, I mean, everything's not in a vacuum, though. You'd have to consider somebody making a choice to rock with somebody because there's money over there. 
But you also have to consider mm-hmm. that it was what was, what was threats to the, to the to the family. Well, the, I'm that, learning it, that three seconds, like oh. a, a sixty seconds ago, I'm learning. Well, okay, learned it two hours ago. You know that would have helped a lot if oh, I'd have okay. known that her mama was gonna die if she didn't well, suck his well, dick. Well, well, it was coming, so, but it's <laughs> but it's but it. <laughs> But, Where did but, that come but, from? But, but see, that's what that's it comes. What he just said. But that's what creative. Uh, that's what critical thinking comes in. Because if those things are true that everybody Nigga, else is saying, I've never heard no scenario stop, stop, like stop, that. Stop, stop, stop. What critical thinking comes in is if things are true that we're saying, everything else that I said, that mean he. That mean the if the girl that his previous girlfriend was killed, and they said that he did all this to these other people then nine times out of ten she was in danger too and he would have did the same thing to her why do you why did you think it would stop at her i didn't know that he got his wife um uh, but i said that but i said hold, that hold a long on you're time cutting ago. me off before you even hear what i'm saying let him finish let, let, let him <laughs> land big man i let didn't know land. he got his wife by Ooh. threatening her loved ones what yeah that's what you're saying right now you're saying i'm supposed to know what Cassie Man. went through That's why I was saying You're not listening Read the poor But you're document. not listening But you're not listening Yes I am No you're yes, not Yes I am if, 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 if people around you uh-huh. Are Are in danger If mm-hmm. people are getting killed Around you Yes And and you have a woman And, 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 and the, the previous girlfriend Was killed mm-hmm. For for trying to out him Yes Then the woman that he's with Is going to be In the same danger Okay. It's her point. Okay, but, but you're Chad implying he didn't understand that I would have known even going. Yeah, that the wife went through that He was that arguing too. and didn't have the knowledge. But Chad. She, no, hold on, Faith. No, no, that's something on, different. Out. That's something she different. filed a lawsuit, so why wouldn't she? The wife? Yeah, you talking about Cassie? No, the wife. What the point? wife that got killed. Okay, what about her? You're, you said that um, she um, Cassie was being threatened, so I should have learned by critical thinking... Mm-hmm. That if the previous wife went through that, then of course she was obviously going through that. The yeah, the previous wife. wife, was wife all I know is that the previous wife came up dead. You didn't know he that that that, that they were saying that he was killed because she was that she was trying to expose him before she died. No. Okay. Well, I heard oh, something about a book. Man. I heard he something about a book. Without the oh, I heard something man. about a book. You did all this back and forth with me. You don't he even said, have no, uh, all the Dr. details. Yeah, they said what you That's said. what I'm saying. He's you keep going back and forth with me with this shit. You ain't even got all the but, details. My Sam, only point, the only point that I've made the entire night is the same. A lot of motherfuckers are showing up to fuck with people that are well off because of the benefit involved. And then when things aren't going their way anymore, they want you to go to prison or die. That's the only point that I'm making. That boy said I'd die. I thought you were talking about make money. But I thought you said I thought he'd do it for the money. Now you saying to die. No, uh, <laughs> you didn't listen to my whole thing. Yeah, more, uh, but okay. when I threw the details in, you still dismissed it. It's the point. I threw. I told you the details. I gave you the details, and you still dismissed he the victim. He was an active argument at that time. He couldn't hear straight. Right. No. You still, he still dismissed. I, I gave him the details, no. and he still dismissed the victim. He, he didn't give me details that she was there because she was her family and friends were Man, threatened. We've been talking about this girl being in danger the whole time. That's the right. whole that was abusing the whole time. her. You kept saying abuse, abusing her. You didn't say her mom's life was in I jeopardy. I said the girl couldn't. I, how long ago did I say the, the girl? Somebody in the comments the a long time ago she, said, listen to understand and not to respond. And I think a lot of that was going on when it was a heated debate. Everybody was just ready to say they part, say they part. So nobody really. Because I promise I said listening. that early in the, in, 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 in the motherfucking episode. I said that a long time ago. Ooh, okay. How she was in danger. And, and, and motherfucking. Now, it's three and, hours. And she couldn't move how she wanted to move. Y'all are right though. Yeah. And this well, nigga was I, forcing he was forcing her, man. I, boy, well, you, I, I think your engineer and 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 your your folks is ready to get up out of here. Y'all could do this all night. Yeah. Yeah. After the show, y'all can argue. I'm gonna go and get my room. I took my hat off. <laughs> all right. I'm tired. All right. Um LA, Bellflower. Next week, next week, we had the stand up comedy club. Get your tickets right now. Faith gonna be there. Danny Rag gonna be there. Dewan B gonna be there. To hear more and uh Dean Wing. I'm hosting. That's the squad. I got squad with me. You hear me? You done see everybody that's on this fire, you done seen on the couch. You hear me? 
all up. So y'all, if you in LA, you get to see everybody get down. You feel me? You get to see the whole squad get down. Come through LA. Get them tickets yeah, right now. Tickets ain't for $20. Real affordable. You know, I'm usually 25 but I took five off of y'all last. $20. $20. Yeah. Pull up. Look at that squad. Look at that squad. She, you don't want to miss this shit. April 12th, next Thursday. Next Thursday. You don't want to miss this shit. I'm telling you, this shit finna be crazy. This shit finna be ignorant. I felt like you could have made my picture a little bigger. But you know what? I said it's the cool. same thing. I said, why you so <laughs> tiny on there? Yeah. Motherfucker can't even tell you. It's cool. Tell you it's cool. Because first of all, the one with fat. So you could. You, 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 you could. That's what I'm saying. You should have covered up. Yeah, you should have covered up. I ain't even make the flyer. Know, but now nah, it's cool. It's I ain't cool. even make the flyer. But you gave a picture with your sunglasses. You, gave, you put a selfie on that bit. <laughs> you should have made a bit. Motherfucker don't even know who you is, even if you did go uh, with big on there. Who made it? Yeah, and that's, that's what I've been saying all episode. He won't take accountability. Nobody <laughs> right. allowed oh him. Oh my god! Right. Uh, if you right, right. Him, look at him. I'm finna get off. I'm with Jay. I'm gonna so let y'all have it. I'm going. I'm going upstairs. <laughs> get <laughs> so look, your ass. Look, put me on. Put me on the camera. Hey. <laughs> Going upstairs, so y'all just stay down here in the bait all night. Reach for the skies, here it is. Going upstairs, <laughs> swing and a miss. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I got my first weekend. Period. Other than you know, Little Rock, of course. My first weekend. Detroit is blessing the nigga with a full weekend. From. Friday to Sunday, I got five shows, dog. Five shows I got. They worked the mess out of me. Hey, this the <laughs> first time they gave a nigga five shows. This where my tour started in Detroit. So my Detroit people, I need you to pop out on a nigga, dog. Because I'm telling you, we finna do the fool in Detroit. Five of them things, baby. Bike to bike to bike to bike to bike. Then why they put a rainbow next to here? And you hear me? Hey, man. <laughs> don't miss this one. I'm, I'm, I'm super excited about this shit, man. I'm hyped, bro. I'm hyped. So you know tickets. what I'm saying? Because it's about to... Look, look see, so got my ticket. And there's a few people told me they got the ticket. I'm trying to sell every single show out, man. So if y'all can help me in any way, man, tell them folks to pull up on me, man. I know at least I can get three shows sold out. I can get at least three shows Two, three shows I can get sold out. Get them all but sold out. But I want them out. all sold out, man. Come on, man. Y'all make sure them folk pull up on me, man. If you're in Detroit or you got people in Detroit, make sure them folk pull up on me, man. Y'all got to. And you know, uh, I got my flyer, but I ain't, I ain't seen it to A. Hey, my bad, A. Hey. Um, and uh, June, uh, um, June. <laughs> This nigga Chad in the comments. Hey. Watch it. Yeah. Chad June 14th and 15th. I got Birmingham, you Alabama. I'm standing on my point. Uh, June 14th and 15th. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be at shot. I'm, I'm going to give me a shot date. June 14th and 15th. Sorry, Marcus. I'm going to be. Uh, I'm June 14th and 15th. I'm going to be in uh, Birmingham, Alabama at the Birmingham Star Dome. They're giving me two shows this time. Uh, it's in <laughs> it's in the smaller room. That's what I'm talking about. It's in the smaller room. So y'all, I need y'all to uh, I need y'all to pull up on me uh, and so pack it out, man, so they can give me the bigger room next time. But they gave me two shows to you know what I'm saying to show them. Hey, nigga, I sell tickets. You know what I mean. So fool with me if you're cool with me. Uh, L.A., Birmingham, Detroit, man, and I'll be back in Little Rock soon too. All right, uh, Mama, what you got? What I got is I need y'all to start uh, uh, caring about my gym and giving me time. I need time. I need, time I, need, I need time to speak into these people's lives. Okay. And y'all just talking, 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 and you're just forgetting about what what needs to be done at the end. Okay. Y'all being selfish. Okay, I bet. Can you still do it? Follow me on all flat. Pl- uh, pl- mm-hmm. <laughs> Follow me on all platforms. Don't do that, big man. Mm-hmm. Jone Fong Sway. Faith, what you got? Uh, follow me on all my platforms down in there, <laughs> down especially in there. on Cash App. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> Thank y'all, everybody that sent me the Cash Apps. I'll see y'all. Appreciate y'all. Y'all going to stay on my prayer list this week. 
all week, all month. Um, yeah, add me, cause you know what? At the end of the day, this gotta turn. This gotta work. They still talk. Cause I don't. I don't have no talent. You know what I'm saying? Yes, if do. this comedy don't work out, I'm gonna have to go back to stealing. You got to. Uh, no, no, exactly. No, you don't so do follow that. me and support. <laughs> <laughs> y'all keep me out of jail you, you gotta follow faith around your house when she asks to go to the bathroom you gotta go oh, with her hey i'm a classy thief my mama taught me better than that you steal from corporations not people not people okay you could trust my mama said she was the type of crackhead you could trust in your house because she steals Dana from white the appreciate store. that from the store, not she steal from the store <laughs> All right. We ain't having this foolishness next week. I'm going to cut y'all off. All right. Sorry. We, yeah, we, we, was, we was a little long winded. A little. Uh, look, look, look. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. It was a little long winded. I apologize to everybody. Shout Abe. out to A. They enjoyed it. They stayed yeah. watching, still watching. Yeah. 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 I, 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 a, my apologies, man. We, we, we was a little long winded today. Uh, uh, yeah, Perry, I got Abe you. Said, Send yeah. more. Abe said, yeah. let it happen Appreciate in the cash. Appreciate you. Thank you. He's Abe said, let it happen in the cash. You see how ungrateful that nigga is to my Send more. <laughs> you sent it there a cash app, nigga, to my Send more. That's why you should have sent it to me. I would have been appreciated. Uh, <laughs> he said, I got robbed my super chat, YouTube, bro. Um, Chad, what you got? Man, free game, Chad, all platforms. Uh, out here working, man. Uh, follow me. I post every show that I'm doing. Um, yeah, shit, it's up. Appreciate y'all for rocking, goddamn, for everybody who understood. I, I appreciate you, goddamn, man. For what people who didn't, goddamn it, I appreciate <laughs> you for staying, <laughs> staying here. Shit, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, it's love, man. You know what I'm saying? We we, we promoting growth, goddamn it. So, at the end of the day, niggas, we, we got to have the hard conversations, man. I love y'all. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, yeah, man. Appreciate you everybody that showed up. up too in late there. at night, shit. Appreciate everybody that showed up in here, man. And and and, and, and you know what I'm saying? Can't fool. I'm 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 hitting everywhere. I'm shot town, a town. You know what I'm talking about? I'm 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 I'm, I'm finna be all up, all across the globe, man. I'm uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> These people crazy. <laughs> so um man, listen, man. Just just be looking for they me where I'm, wherever Chad. I'm coming, man. <laughs> Make sure y'all pop up on me, man. I'm 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 uh we, we we going hard this year, man. I ain't gonna lie, boy. I've been going so hard, nigga nigga, nigga funds been getting low, nigga been scraping the pot. You know what I'm saying? It's been it's been rough, dog. Um uh, you know what I'm saying? You know the the, the, the tube numbers ain't, ain't 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 been I need I just Y'all need to get I need a little extra little push a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I know I gotta put these clips out, but the two numbers, you know what I'm saying? I need to I need to get them back up. You know what I'm saying? What what what, what they uh well it was it was it was something that was trending and shit, man. But shit, nigga. Hey, you know I I know squad gonna fuck with me, man. So, you know, do what you can if you will. You know what I'm saying? Show these folks where it's at, man. Pull a clip off this thing, man. Let, we try. Let's let's get this viral somehow, man. We are, I I I take our argument clip. Put this motherfucker on there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just get a debate going you know, on man, this. That bitch, be no man. clip. That's it. a whole show. We got to get this shit. We, we got to get this shit cracking, man. So, uh, yeah, it's time. It's time, man. Uh, but thank y'all for showing up, man. Episode 115, um, mainstream country folk in the city podcast, man. Much love, man. Thank y'all. Salute. They waiting to hear the song. Yeah, I know what you think. Big man, we gotta do another song. For what? Cause I said so. Alright, mom. I'ma rap this time. Oh hell no. Don't do that, big man. You stick to the ad lib. I got somebody to help me out with the rap. Chad, where you at? What's up, cuz? You got some bars for me? You know it. Let go. Country folk in the city Start the 
off right cause I'm the host of the show You know Marcus is the name the flies nigga you know If you ain't heard about us yet then you about to find out This the country folk show represent for the south Mainstream the podcast and it's for family and friends Sometimes I hate to show up and they like to pretend And say I can't freestyle this cause the style ain't free And you can try all you want but hating won't stop me Mainstream Mainstream, woo. I get on that couch like in the booth. I speak the truth. Every Wednesday with the news. Got you laughing, do the fool like a mule. You know, Marcus bring them stallions to I'm going to give you a game that you wish you would have knew. Mama Feng Shui always end up with them Jews. Country folk in the city, I keep my people with me. Keep them laughing with silly. Them phone calls always zig I switch them out like I'm Vivian. Fresh as Prince Jada kissing me. Breaking locks, take the industry. Free game, equanimity. What the hell is equanimity? Mama, sit your country ass down, man. Mainstream. Country folk in the city We the next for the spot On the stage of the couch We put some salve in the mouth Know what I'm talking about? Mainstream